What's up, guys? How's everybody doing tonight? Wow. Hell of a day. Hell of a day. I'm just going to keep the music on for myself. Very, actually, very selfish of me now that I, re <laughs> now that I think about it. Mm. Anyways. Hey Mickey, yeah. Everyone is tired. Man, this 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 last week was just a a wow of a disaster. But uh, you know, new day, new beginning. I always kind of it's always hard to start these shows, you know? You kind of feel, "Oh, where 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 am I going to start? What am I going to talk about?" But then as the time goes on, it all gets better. Hey, Logan. Yeah, it's getting better. It's getting better. I, I A lot of people noticed that I haven't really been myself. And it's because there has been some stuff happening in the background. So I'll, I'll share it later. I don't want to you know, stress you guys out. I, after all, we're here to talk watches, have fun. Right? This, that's what it's all about. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, hey, ooh. This is interesting. This is very interesting, actually. Huh. Uh, Nicholas Augustus. It's getting better all the time. Hey, thank you, Nicholas. Uh, you have a really interesting icon. How come you have that check mark? That's kind of funny. Uh, yeah. Anyways, let, let's let's uh, let's just see who do we have uh, here tonight with me. We've got Brent, Alex K, Jubilee Jubilee Tin Man, Rajiv Mirage, Paul M, Pavel, Mickey, JC. Hey, nice to see you, JC. We got Logan Hall. Uh, we got Nutton Asian Hoarder. Uh, what is happening in the background? Hey, hey, hey. Um, I'm actually, I'm going to reveal a lot of... Anyways, uh, if you want to know about the background stuff, you guys have to upgrade the membership to Story Editor. So, that's for the, like, the inner circle. <laughs> Anyways, let's, uh, let's talk about watch. Oh, 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 Logan Hall, Logan Hall. Logan Hall. Tim, did you know that if you type Panda in Rolex search bar on their site, it actually pulls up Panda? Something with Kermit, Root Beer, etc. Try it. Yes. Oh, oh, you guys didn't know that? The check mark is... Oh, and Nicholas says the check mark is a verified account by Google. Wow. I want to get verified. That'd be super cool. That'd be super cool. Hey, congratulations, Nicholas. That is amazing. And we've got Mr. Two in the chat. Hi, Mr. Two. Man, Mr. Two almost literally almost murdered me with a meme. That's how funny Mr. Two was in the morning. He did something, and my wife can contest to that because she she thought I'm I'm crazy. I was dying from laughter. Oh my god. So thank you, Mr. Two, for that. I should be super chatting to you. Oh, let me just show you guys what uh, what Logan Hall is talking about. So if you go to Rolex website, right? So they got this search menu right there. And if you type in like Panda, right? It will literally pull up the Panda. So Rolex kind of acknowledges these uh, nicknames in the background, which is, which is really cute. Kermit, bam, you get the Kermit. You put in... Uh, Root beer, get the we get both. So see, they call both of them root beer. And we got, uh, yes, 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 yes. Uh, Kermit Frog. What if you type rare bird? <laughs> Let's try. I don't, I don't know. Rare bird. Oh, oh no no, you get nothing, nothing. Sorry, sorry, Kryptonite Frog. There is nothing in the search menu, although there are these. What is this? The Rolex watches. Well, 
Oh, oh, it's just a basic website. No, it's always fun going through the catalog and it's very misleading because, you know, this is this is how actually I ended up loving Panda. I just went through the catalog and picked the watch that I liked. You know, just browsing, just browsing, you know. Then stumble upon Panda and was like, wow, that's a cool watch. And then you go to the store and they give you the bad news. It's impossible to get. Ooh. <laughs> My wife says he's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Logan Hall, it will be, uh, it will, be, it will show you a picture of, <laughs> okay, Mr. Two, not today, Mickey, I've got one eye on the stream and the other on the spreadsheet, sad face, hey, Mr. Two, I think you did quite a lot of good memes uh, on the Archie stream, so that was well appreciated, if you guys want to see some funny stuff, man, Join, uh, oh, join Archie's WhatsApp group if you can. Uh, become a member. We'll try to kind of link some stuff. Oh, yes, 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 exactly. Okay, so that's it's all gonna be good. Pavel, show me the meme. <laughs> we don't, <laughs> we don't all hang out in your nerd chats. Uh, it's kind of uh, when Marco joins. Uh, if I don't know if he's listening, but if if he comes on the show, because it's actually it's kind of related to Marco, and uh, I don't want to just just share it like this. So. <laughs> I hope you understand, Mister Two, Kermit Frog, Mister Two. You had Tim in stitches two days in a row. Yeah, Mister Two actually really helped me out uh, with with everything. Uh, Mister Two, nothing like a certain lawyer's soul. Mickey, fair enough, Mr. Two. You can't do them all the time. It wouldn't be the same. Exactly. Maybe just a rare treat for, for us all. You know, that's the that's the whole thing about uh even like these streams. You have to you have to miss a couple of days. Let the punters miss you. That way you they appreciate it more. I'm gonna start doing a couple of like day off streams. Day off. Tim's day off. What days when I just play uh, video games, and you guys can join me to to check the video games. Uh, John Celsa, Tim, thoughts on Yacht Master being discontinued? Who, <sighs> John Seltzer, Yacht Master being discontinued? I like that idea actually. I actually, uh, I think. I think that's genius. Where did you hear that, John? Yacht Master being discontinued? I'm just freaking curious because that would be... A... Wow, that would really be unbelievable. Because, you know, I personally, I love Yacht Master. The only problem I have with it is that it's expensive and I can't afford one. You know? They're so expensive. Like, let's look. Let's look at these yacht masters. Let's look at like. Look at that. the The basic rhodium dial, forty mil, is twelve thousand dollars at retail. And if you want a a, a two tone rose gold, they go for what fourteen thousand five hundred. That's, this is what I'm talking about. That's double the price of a Submariner almost, right? The Submariner retail price is 8,000, 8,100. And this is 14,500. If they did like, and it's so underappreciated. People think that like, oh, these are, these are like the dog watches because they don't have the same kind of hotness on the secondary market. But watch wise, it's a really good watch. Like, it's incredible. Like, it wears. It wears better than the Sub. You know, Sub wears really rough. It's a rugged watch. You know, it's cool. This is not not so. This is just. This is like a dress Sub, which really wears really nice on the wrist. 
Pavel says, I'd rather have a sub. Why would you say why why do you why do you say that, Pavel? I know, I know. Uh, me too, me too. I would rather have a sub. But I'm thinking like, why do I think that? See, because that's that's the hard question. We want the sub, but I don't know why I want the sub. Pavel, rubber is different OFC. By the way, I have one of the members. By the way, he's a he's a highly paid member. He is uh, he was on he's on the story editor level, so he's paying ten dollars per month for the membership. And I had a great call with the guy, an amazing call. And uh, he bought one of these, and the AD told him that he can put this on the rubber on the Oyster Flex. Like Rolex will give him, will sell him an Oyster Flex. I, this is the first time I heard about that Rolex can put these yacht masters on oyster flex for you. They can sell you. If you like, this is the first time I'm hearing this. Have you? Have, did any one of you knew? I know Mister Two knew about this because he posted an image of one of these two tone yacht masters on the oyster flex. And I was completely blown away. And just, like, it changes the whole perspective, the way I look at the watch. Because usually everybody says, oh, the, the bad thing about Rolex, right, is you can't take off the, the bracelet and put it on the rubber strap. You have to get, like, secondary market, right? You have to get the rubber bee and stuff like that. Ah, ooh, and this, this is David H. This is the guy who got it. Tim, it was bait and switch. <sighs> ooh, it's okay. It's okay. When I was there, she said it's aftermarket, not oyster flex. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. Wow. I told you in the message. Must have yes, I missed it. Sorry, I was just dealing with so much uh, stuff. David, thank you. Oh, and thank you for watching the show. Uh, you see ya. Um, uh, wow. Well, but it's okay. I mean, look, it's a great watch, though. Like, it, if 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 we could put it on the Oyster Flex, that would be unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. But even like I, I we I have a lot of people, especially let me just show you guys something. So I have uh Ray. Ray sent me some of these NATO picks. Now, now Ray, he's huge into NATOs. And he was showing me some NATOs on the uh Explore too. So there's some interesting stuff out there. I think even those rubber bees, they make some really high quality uh rubber pieces but yeah yeah i i understand i understand david what you mean yeah it's sometimes the language that they use it gets tricky it's tricky if you don't listen to the precise it's like in politics you know it's the the wording really matters but but you know hey hey it's still and oh oh oh, oh i think Joe, Joe Kramer, Joe Kramer, he has one of those two-tone yacht masters. I take my yachty over a sub any days. And I like I get it. I get it. You know, my uh Sangmi, give me your yacht master. I just wanna I just wanna pull up her yacht master, my wife's yacht master. No, no, take it off. Take it off the oh, oh, it's over there. Okay. One second, she'll she'll bring it up. The like, for me, the reason I like, I don't buy because it's so expensive. It's double. I you know it's double. So let me just show you guys here. Check this out. So this is her yacht master. This is just a rhodium dial, right? So it's like it's three thousand dollars cheaper than the rose gold. It's got that. Sunburst dial. Look, the lug, the curvature on those lugs. 
the Beezel. Man. It's just expensive. It's expensive, guys. Yachty is so expensive. I can't believe it. It the the price on it doesn't really make much sense to me. Like, how can this watch be so much more expensive than the sub? But maybe it's just like I don't get it. If if I had the money though, I would definitely probably I would I would probably go with this. Because Let's be honest. I, I don't know. I like tell me. Tell me guys. Why why do you think most of us would rather have a sub? Like why would most people rather have a sub than the Yacht Master? Is it all about the money? Overpriced. It's so is it about the money? Does Rolex maybe Rolex doesn't want us to buy it? Maybe they priced it. At that at that specific level, just that, just to get rid of certain amount of people so they don't buy it. Uh, let me just uh, Alex K. Uh, Tim, is that yours? Didn't know you have it. Nope, it's my wife's. It's the thirty seven uh, thirty seven mil. Uh, Mister Two J J posted a photo of a black Explorer Two on the black nylon strap. Looked amazing. Yeah, I'm freaking, I'm loving the way the Explorer 2 looks on these NATOs even. These are some high quality NATOs, to be honest. Ooh, Calvin Chang, $2, selling the new Speedy for Daytona. Am I wrong? No, no, I think, yeah, it's a, it's a, it's hard to say. There's such different watches. It's probably, if you're a flipper, if you're flipping, probably the speedies, they're going to go down in price. They're at the highest point right now. If you have no special attachment to your speedy, then it's probably best to, to, to get out now because the toners are going up and the speedies are going down. So that's probably, it's a probably a smart move. Yeah, and you can get the speed the speedies. They're so mass printed. Uh, the toners are always rare, but the the price like it, it doesn't mean any. It doesn't make even any sense. Like how are you selling a new speedy? Oh oh oh, selling a new speedy for a Daytona. I'm not sure. Can you expand on the question? Because it's uh, it lacks a lot of context. You don't have to super chat, just just chat to expand. Because what when did you get the speedy? How much did you pay it for? How much are you selling it for? How much is Daytona? It's a lot of questions. It's hard to answer. Like, uh, let me just, I missed a lot of stuff. The chocolate dial is, is easy to get at least 10% off. Oh, with the, with the two-tone, uh, oh yeah, yeah. Uh, the David H, he's got it with the black dial, which I think is so cool. It, it's like, Black, it absorbs the sunlight. It's very weird experience looking in the sunlight. Looking at that black dial on the Yacht Master is such a weird experience. It's just it doesn't reflect. Zero reflection. It's so so mesmerizing. Hard, hard, kind of hard to believe what is happening. Uh, my dealer called me. Uh, Pavel, my dealer called me to offer. The chocolate dial yacht master yesterday, I declined. Yeah, um, it, it, I, I, I would have to know your story and how it fits in, uh, with the rest of your collection. For David, for David H, we really like we. He has a plan. He has a plan, and it works in his collection. So the yachty is amazing, and the way the way he set it up. And let's see, what is this? Uh, uh, Mr. Two sent me. Ah, yes, yes, yes. Let me just show you guys. This is what Mr. Two sent me. This is the way uh, the Explorer 2 looks like on the... Wow, look at that. That strap with orange stitching. <sighs> Sexy. And with with jeans, 
damn. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's that's a great photo, Mr. Two. That was that was an amazing photo. Oh, let me actually drop the link in case somebody wants to join me. Let's see. And nothing shit. Asian says, I love my chocolate dial Yachty. Chocolate dial, very different. Very different. It blends with the with the rose gold of the of the two tone. Both really interesting. Personally, I'm a bigger fan of a, of a black one because it's just so unusual. Very weird experience. My wife has the the rhodium dial, so very 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 simple. But also the rhodium uh, the the those chocolate dials, you can find them on more than just uh, the yacht masters, right? They have the chocolate dials. I think even like in the day just. They have the chocolate dials in the Daytonas, so they're more common. Whereas that that black dial that you can find on the Yachtmaster, it's only on the Yachtmaster. So check it out, guys. If you if you have a chance to see the black dial uh, Yachtmaster, really interesting. Let's see. Oh, no, no, uh, Calvin. He expanded upon the question. Okay, I have a new Speedy. Okay, purchased it for 8500 Canadian. I want to sell it and use the money for a Daytona. We'll need to pay a premium to get a Daytona though. Yeah, it's just, it's w what kind of Daytona? What kind of Daytona are we talking about here? You know, let's, uh, let's actually, I think, we're actually, we're going to go and check Chrono 24 for you to see what's, what's available and, and see if, if people would do something like this. Chrono 24. Ooh, Joe, how's it going? Good. Actually, let me move. Let's flip. Tim, that black hey. dial, you're talking about the Yamaster in 42 mil black dial or the standard 40 in black dial? Hold on, you're a little bit low. Second. Wait, maybe. Oh, it's here. It's, I'm low. Okay. Can you can, uh, can you say it again? Are you talking about the Yacht Master in 42 mil with the black dial, or are you talking about the one with the matte black dial? Because that matte black dial can be found on the Explorer 2, I think, and the Explorer as well, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I think uh, it's... No, no, because the, the Explorer 2 has the glossy dial. The okay. Explorer One, however, has a matte dial, but it's different. Right. It's different matte dial. I don't. I don't think it's too different. What 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 kind what kind of yacht master do you have? You have with the chocolate dial. No, I have black dial. Oh, you have the black dial. Oh, can you yeah, take a look at them side by side? Oh, you I, have I don't both? see too much of a difference. Oh, you don't have you don't see too much difference. Okay, so I think, no. but that's the only two models that have that black dial. Air King. Whereas every single other variation has the chocolate dial. You know, like a Daytona has a chocolate dial. Uh, I think even the day just has a the chocolate day just dial. Has... I think the day date also doesn't it? Or is that a right? champagne yep. dial? Yep. No, that, yeah, no, it, it, it's the day date. It's more common. More common. Oh, you have the black, the black, the black dial. The black dial is, mm -hmm. it's amazing, right? The way it absorbs the light. Yeah, it's so cool. Uh, let uh, what was it gonna? Oh, I was gonna look for a Daytona. Uh, Daytona. So look at this. What would you would you do something like this? Would you sell the the Speedy to upgrade to a Daytona? I don't know. Is that a smart thing to do? Depends on which Daytona. Right. Ooh, he says white gold, white gold Panda Daytona or white ceramic Daytona. White ceramic Daytona is probably overpriced. You don't want to buy that on the. I mean, maybe you 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 do wanna. Uh, it's Wait, just, you said white gold. Yeah, he says either white gold or the panda, the steel. I think the white gold is better bang per buck. Let's see. Well, if you're looking at it from an investment purpose, want the steel be better? Oh yeah, yeah. Hey Marco. 
Out of Campusi, Fikers, what's going on? Yo, what do you think about this? Uh, we're just trying to solve a dilemma. Calvin says he wants to sell his brand new Speedy, flick it off, and upgrade to uh, a Daytona. And he's saying either a white gold Daytona or... Two tone Maserati blue dial. Well, that's two tone. Right, why not get that? Um, or I a think, what? Uh, either, either Panda or a white gold. Hmm. Like panda or white gold? Yeah, I definitely go panda. Ooh, really? Well, yeah, obviously. Wow, I would think like uh, like like one of the ooh, it's expensive. Look, same price. For you can you can basically get either this one. Let's say, look at that, a white gold, Roman numerals. Black Those dot, are Arabic numerals, but okay. Arab. Oh yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Is another thing I don't know. By the way, Joe, what's the, what's the occasion, my man? Hey, Joe, you already know. Sharp. I just got back. I just got oh, back from the Jesus uh, Christ. Club. Stop wasting your money there, man. PayPal Archie Luxury72 at gmail.com instead. <laughs> Let him read your soul again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I think I think we had enough of that. But I can't. I can't wait to get my soul read. I'm actually thinking of do, of, of of asking Archie to do a review for, of my collection. Let's see how that goes. It's all hype. <laughs> does he really love the watches? That's what he's going to say. To mm -hmm. He's either going to say, "Does he really love the watch? So all all the hype models," or he's going to say. Yeah, I love Tim. I love Tim. That's going to be his collection review. Oh, yeah. We'll see it. We'll see it. He's going to sell me like a typical New Yorker. It depends Yorker. on how much Tim pays him. That, that's what it's going to come down to. It depends on how much Tim pays him. Damn. Yeah, probably. When I get I my time back, I'm doing a paid review. If I give him 100, he'll uh, he'll he'll tell me I'm he'll, great. He, yeah. No, yeah. yeah. Exactly. It'll be the best collection on the screen here. Yeah. <laughs> it's the best, of course. <laughs> Uh, Calvin Chang, white gold Daytona or white ceramic Daytona? What do you think? Guys, type in if you think this, what would you guys go for? Uh, this white gold Daytona or the Panda? Type one for the white gold and two for the Panda. I think white gold is just, it's better. It's white gold. I mean, the, this this is this is probably the price that these retail for. The the retail on the on the panda is like thirteen thousand. Wait, why is your wife upset? I don't know. Wait, why are you upset? What happened? Oh, because I said I'm gonna pay Archie to do a review of a collection. <laughs> if I'm not, I'm spending money. Ooh, it's gotta be clear to the bank first. That's amazing. Wow. I feel bad but, for Tim. He's got to give a cut to his wife, a cut to Archie. What, what's a cut for his son? Yeah, there's man? nothing left. Cut and to I have YouTube? To... A cut to YouTube? Yeah. So first the YouTube takes, then Archie takes, then my wife takes, then I have to pay for the. I'm still paying bills pay the for taxes, the equipment. Yeah. Then the taxes. I end up, this business is costing me more money <laughs> than I'm making. <laughs> I can't believe it what a man look at this nobody nobody likes these white gold Daytonas this is why they're good buys because if they were good buys people were, would probably already bought them is it you have to go for something like this this just shows me that it's, they're undervalued I don't I don't get it this like guys, like, are you serious? Nobody likes these white gold Daytonas. I don't get it. Not as usable. But it's a Daytona. It's supposed to be unusable. Look at the contrast on this on this baby. Whoo! Look at that. Yeah, but my thing is, why would you get white gold? Like, I get that. It's yeah. kind of stealth wealth, but yeah, man, if I'm paying that kind of money. To own a Daytona, I want to show it off a little bit. You know what I mean? Mm. But if I'm getting a gold one, right? I feel like white gold doesn't really make sense. You know, this is why I would recommend to him to stay away from these white gold and pandas. 
Just let's do this. Let's go to Daytona. Let's just get the cheapest one. That isn't it heavy as heck uh, on the white gold, or am I thinking platinum? I would yeah, go 100%. with. I would go with two even, right now. Even white gold is very heavy. Yeah, I in would this choose. market, right two here, is probably better value. But I would get it from an AD Tim. They're probably not that difficult to get. No, no they're they're pretty difficult. They're pretty difficult. Like look, really? this is under retail. You can get these two tone Daytonas under retail. Why not pay under re like these are going to yeah, go but this is the old class. This is look old that. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, but they have oh, but it has stickers. So this is old class, but sticker. But there's probably like let's look at this one, sixteen five hundred. They retail Marco, at what, are you, what are you eating? Because you're just going into town or whatever it is you're eating. Yeah, Marco, you have to chips and guac. Ooh, nice. Look, this got new clasp, sticker, and everything. This is absolutely gorgeous. I wouldn't pay uh, David H. I wouldn't pay market price for ceramic. Retail, different story. Well. Why wouldn't you pay market price? I don't understand. It's the it's just the thing is like, it's like Bitcoin. We don't know where it's gonna go. Like we know, hey, we, we know it's gonna go crazy. We know that. By the way, if you guys didn't know, Rolex is going to release a blue Daytona this year, and uh, discontinue the the Panda. Where'd you get Panda's... that info? <laughs> don't say it. Don't say it live on air. Oh no no! I didn't get it. I, I got it from uh, the Dutch form. <laughs> Sources. Yeah, yeah. So Blue Daytona, guys. And the Panda is going to be discontinued. It's going to go insane. If you thought 30000 was too much, it's going to be 50000 in like a week. It's going to go that insane. Watch, Tim, huh? I'm telling you, I think that watch, because ceramic can, I think it's, let's say ceramic cracks over time, right? It's not yeah. like an aluminum bezel. Right. Where like, it'll just like fade or maybe it'll scratch off or even like a metal bezel like that. Mm. Man, if those ceramic bezels crack, right? People mm. are gonna want original ones. They're gonna be worth even more because over time, more and more are gonna crack. It's gonna make them even more desirable to get one wow. in pristine condition. Wow. So Tim, start wearing the the Pepsi and put the Panda away instead. <laughs> <laughs> but the Panda Tim, was. Would the... you then? Would you then throw away the ceramic and go for the new blue Daytona then? Ooh. Yes. Yes. Yes, not I even, would. Not even yes, I would. Yes. Yes. I want the blue Daytona, guys. I want it. Retail. Retail. I want it retail. Oh my god. A blue panda Daytona. My heart would explode. I don't think I'd be able to handle it. I, I, oh my god. It would be so cool. It would be so cool. But it's probably going to be like white gold, as Rolex usually does. So I think those images, that were the, those leaked images, they were kind of uh, misleading. Because I think Rolex is going to do it, but in white gold. I heard the okay. rumor it was a lot of Photoshop, and that one it was being debunked as Photoshopped. Possible, possible, yeah, yeah. Yeah, let's hope. <laughs> Let's hope it's true. Can can I dream for a day? I wanted to go to sleep today thinking about like what would it be cool? Wouldn't it be cool? But but I, I actually more than I'm not so much excited about the blue panda because I wasn't expecting blue panda. I really want the remake of the Explorer One. I think that would complete me. I think I would be completely horologically satisfied. Paul. Correct. <laughs> yeah, that's what I wondered. Any recommendations are probably in our supermarket. Uh, I have an eye on some uh, Dartington crystal beer glasses on John Lewis. I have this. It's all. It's all code, Paul. It's all code. Uh, Alex K. Tim, will you spend three K for that? Uh, <laughs> uh, wait for which one? The ugly one. Some people will die. Oh, wait. Which watch? Which what, 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 what's three K? What's three K? What was three K? What was gonna spend three K for? Mm. I'm not sure. Yeah, but any any amount of money, thirty K. I mean, oh, thirty K. 
No, no, no. I don't have 30k. <laughs> I don't have 30k to spend. Crocodile watches. Two tone Daytona. Mm. Yeah, see, I didn't like two tone Daytonas. But I'm really starting to warm to them because, and especially look at this one. The condition is just gorgeous. And the price is right, especially compared to everything else. It just The prices are just so insane for all other pieces. But in two, you can get a Daytona. It's the same watch. It's just two-tone. Like... This is a great piece to get. If you can get if you can get it new from the AD, it's also probably worth it. I'm with root beer. I'm rooted root beer on that one. Oh, which one is this one? Panda is overrated. Yeah. The blue dial, white gold walks or oh, oh yeah. Even like uh, as, or the green one that's uh, that's yellow gold, Paul Newman. Yeah. I mean I don't know the, the 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 panda. It's just got the it's the name. It's the name. You see, part of the reason these watches are so hot is because the name sells the watch. People can easily remember it. What is that? That's the panda, right? What is that? That's the Hulk. It's catchy, and people can remember it, and it sells. You look at other brands. And what what watches sell? It's the ones that have a nickname that can easily be kind of expressed to other people. What are you wearing? Oh, it's Royal Oak. Oh, okay. It... Mr. Two, peer pressure. We have been conditioned that two-tone is uncool. Yeah. It's just absolutely peer pressure. Mm. Guys, my watchmaker just sent me an email. About my Ooh. Pam getting serviced. Yes. He said that right now, like he adjusted it to five position, which is obviously the chronometer standard. You know what it's running at? 0. 0.4 seconds. Whoa. Fast on the time grapher. That's Whoa. pretty good. No? Well, it's a chronometer grade ETA, right? Oh, yeah. So it can run plus two, minus two, like Rolex. Mm. Wow. Hey, like... That just goes to show how how it that it's not important to have like super complicated movement with uh, in house stuff, right? Right. It just has right, to right, be. Right. No, listen. Yeah. I've always said ETAs are tried and tested movements, and the benefit is, I mean, the service is going to cost me. Hold on, I can pull it up. Um, total, it's going to be about five hundred bucks Canadian because there's a couple parts that broke. So. Ooh. Um, well, yeah, it's it's not or not that broke, but there was wear on them, like significant wear. So he recommended I replace them. I said, sure, you know. How long? That's still not terrible, long? all things considered. Yeah, hundred percent. But that's the thing. Like, imagine if I went to Panera, I'd be what, eight hundred, probably minimum. Maybe more. Yeah, probably. Plus the parts, they're chipping you, right? Plus the weight. Where are you too. gonna ask? Right. Where are you gonna ask him? Yeah, I was just gonna. I was gonna say, uh, how long did you had that? How long did that watch didn't have service? Never got service before. So, whoa, and what years, was it made? Like I think it was the the papers are. Hold on, I'm trying to remember. I can't remember if it's 2008 or 2012, somewhere in that range. Okay, so it's like 10 years, more than 10 years. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Right. Yeah, if it was like one of one, like like a shitter, like a five hundred dollar watch, paying another five hundred dollars, you'd be like, oh, just get a new one. Right. I'm not even worth paying service. Just buy a right. new one. Right. Damn. Uh, Pavel, Marco is realizing he's going to be talking about watches for five more years before before he buys one. No. Five years. That's a long time. I'll know. be working by then. I'll be working yeah. two jobs. Mm. Also, Uber, maybe you're going to be flipping. A driving wheel. taxis. Driving taxis like Archie. Uber. Uber. Right. Also, we don't know if you're going to flip that uh, uh, your your sub. No, why would I flip my sub? I don't know. What if some guy comes uh, comes along and says he'll give you 13000 No, fuck no. You, you I'd probably do it, but that's just me. 
It's my first. Yeah, but it's my first Rolex. If I sell it, I'd be stupid too. Why would I? No, mm. stop leaving the collection, guys. Honestly, Tim, watches for me are like my S and P five hundred index funds. I buy and I hold, mm. and that's it. Buy and hold, baby. Total, total. Hey Joe, do you have anything in the pop pipeline? What what do you, what, what 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 have you been up to, in watches? Not a whole lot. I mean, I um I still kind of want a Cartier, but I don't know. I, I'm not really in the Han for one right now. If one just happened to roll across my desk, if you will, uh, at a decent yeah. price, I'd take a look at it. Um, the thing with me though is I'm I'm not really familiar with square watches and how they ride. So 39 mil, I hear is like a 42. So. Mm. Have you have you spoke with your <laughs> four at, one? Babe. No, I, as Mister Two puts is said in the chat, I'd like to add a no date sub. They cure my OCD. You're very balanced. Now. That's right, guys. Wow. Look at that. I will wow, admit, yeah, yeah. you know, design wise, it looks clean. It looks very clean. It's Other than that, no, there's not really a whole lot that I'm, you know, really itching for at this time. Um, I'll, I'll like I'll have musings toward like the Tudor Black Bay Fifty Eight in blue. But I mean, it's not you know. If I never got one, it wouldn't it wouldn't bother me. Put it that way. So I spoke with my friend, uh, the guy who got a LASIK surgery instead of investing that money into a Rolex. <laughs> and uh, uh, I told him if he if he wants to get uh, any watches, and uh, he says, well, he wants the sub. So I was like, man. You have to buy something preliminary, you know. I I can probably if he buys like a tutor, let's say, right? We can probably squeeze him onto a waiting list for like two, two, three years. He probably in three years he'll probably be able to get the sub. What do you guys think? Should he buy a tutor now, box and papers, and put it in like his safe or whatever, and just never wear it? And which tutor would you buy? Which which tutor is going to be worth same or more in the future? Not the only ones, that, yeah. Maybe stuff. just, maybe just the ETA Black Bay. That's the only ones I could say. Well, they don't sell those in the store. I think. Right, you had to buy it on Corona Twenty Four. What would you buy from an AD? Like which watch? I, 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 I I'm just, I'm genuinely curious to build up. A, like, what would be a good watch to buy right now? Non Rolex, something. I probably go label. Omega. Maybe an Aqua Terra. They don't have maybe Omega. My AD master. doesn't have Omega. Omega. What else do they have? They have Tudors. Uh yeah. oh! Is it, let's just do let's just do this one. Uh, oh, serious question: What else is Marco eating today? Hey, thank I was you for... eating. Oh, sorry, yeah. go ahead. No, no, no. And... Well, I was eating chips and guac, but I just finished that. We'll see how how I feel in a couple hours. <laughs> hey, look, look. I don't know why my wife put this cake here. I can't eat it during the show. She took a she took a bite. And she left it here, knowing I can't eat it during the show. It's just gonna look weird. I'm well, the host. I, now Marco can eat it because he's not like Marco he's not... just downed a whole bag of chips right in front of you. And how is this, that weird? Dude, this place, <laughs> this bowl was full. It was legit full. He like it was a it right in front of everyone here, and you got no guilt on it. <laughs> It's only on TimWright.com, guys. guys. By the way, if I you're enjoying this type of content, they make like sure to become bang. a member and super chat. Tim, give them the mukbangs. We lo we all love mukbangs. We love what, what is that? It's when people eat on YouTube. That's what they're called, <sighs> mukbang. Yeah. People actually pay good money to watch I'm that. Drinking. I don't know. I, it's really? weird, but... It's very weird. Is the bear wearing the Sailor Moon costume? I think it's just a captain's costume, right? <laughs> All right, so tell me, Tim. Too much fun, man. What are the what are the brands that you're AD? You okay? Are she okay? She's laughing a little bit too much. Okay. Uh, so they got Tudor, mm -hmm. IWC, mm -hmm. Panerai, Nomos, Long Jeans, Cartier, Roger Dubois, Glashuda. A bunch of expensive stuff. They got Paddock and uh, mm. uh, Lange and Vacheron. Honestly speaking, oh, they I'd, probably get, I'd probably get IWC. Like I'd get a Portuguese chronograph. That's a very That's nice expensive. one. Well, I mean, building a relationship, right? 
You do that, you probably get a steel sub or something like that. Tim, is this for you or for somebody else? For my friend. So, like, I'm going to – I can introduce him. So, for example, like, is, if is you he want married? the sub now – Huh? Is he married? No. Oh, he's not? No. Okay. I was, I was going to say, that, well, you know, Cartier would probably be the move. It hasn't and that would kind of seal the deal, but – like a Santos? Something like that. Yeah, you can get like a that. Santos medium if he doesn't have that big of a budget. How much and is that? It's like about know, it's less five-ish. On, I, I could be way off on that, by the way. Five to seven, somewhere in that range. I think seven if it's brand new. Yeah, because the large actually wears... I Listen, it depends how big your wrist is, but I think it wears actually a little bit too large. Let's just take a look. Just a lot of people say that. Right. Well, I, have, I also have... Not that big. Why could you look at my wrist? I'd say, that say I, what? even the 35 would probably be big on me. Santa's? No, right? Then your AD doesn't sell JLC, though? Because otherwise they tell him Reverso. Oh, they, do. Yeah, they, do. they do sell JLC. Get a sub and a Reverso, then. Get a sub and a Reverso. No, but he was planning to, when once he gets the sub, fl flip the other watch. Flip or watch? The first one. Well, why not? Ooh, that's a nice one, too. Scroll up a little bit. Right there. The second one? This on one? The, yeah, that's the one. I oh. like that one, actually. But it's a quartz. Oh. That one's a quartz. I, who cares? But that, I don't know if that's a ladies' version, though. No, no, this is men's. It looks cheap. These are men's. Oh, it's U.S. It's true. It's U.S. Sorry. I'm so used to Canadian price. I'm like, 3900 for Cartier. That's too cheap. Yeah, no, that's good price. This is wow. nice, yeah. I actually like this. Yeah. Well, he's gonna get his ass wrecked trying to sell this, no? Yeah, but why would he sell get a reverso and don't sell it? Ooh, reverso, but then he's not a rich guy. No, well Tim really hum... he needs to build an AD relationship. That's the way yeah. to do it, man. You gotta bite the bullet on the first one. See, I like what G how J C is thinking. Get a black bay, fifty eight, blue, box and papers. And just keep it in the box and rooted rotor, none. But get the Black Bay 58. It's an awesome watch. I just bought one from an AD. Congratulations, right, what's, rooted rotor. What's he trying to get from, from his AD, Tim? A sub or what's well, he no, looking no. for? He has no AD relationship. I told him I can introduce well, What does he him. want? Well, he wants the sub. So then why would he get a Black Bay? It makes no sense. You have two divers in your collection? Because in order to get it on... Oh, he's going to flip the Black Bay. Gotcha, gotcha. He's going to flip it. But that's what I'm saying. Why not get a Reverso? Wait a couple of years. Go on the waitlist for the sub. Say, listen, I'm in no rush. Not a flipper. Yeah. And if, well, he, flips if he buys the... a Reverso, they'll, they'll sell him a sub like right away. But the Reverso is expensive. Why not well, take get, a risk? Get a why medium. A get... Yep. You can get a medium like w with uh, just a single face. That's not that expensive, Tim. And that's a very nice, very conservative dress watch. Tim, why not have them take a risk on a Black Bay GMT? They're still mildly popular right now. Yeah, you take a risk that the date will shit on shit out on you. But yeah, it's an easy flip too. Right, right. That's uh, and he is also on the fat side. <laughs> oh, he's, he's fat. like me. Fair he's enough. He's like me. He's a fat fuck. <laughs> <laughs> this doesn't really work, then, Tim. You can't huh? get something medium. You can't get a medium reverso. It's going to look like a woman's yeah, watch. Get the large. Right. Have right. The large. <laughs> if he was like a sexy playboy type, I would say, ooh, yeah, reverso would be nice. Well, I'm just, uh, we're just talking here. Uh, let's see. Oh, by the way, uh, you guys know what LSK was wearing on that date? Let me just bring it up here. Who? Just a quick diversion. Remember Alex K? He, he oh, went yeah. on, the, on the date. Yes, and yes, his yes. date was late. Like 20 minutes. So we had a contest. Which of these watches he wore to a date? You guys remember that? Which one did you wear? Which one did you say? I said the reverso. Yeah, you were wrong. What about Joe? Joe, Joe, what do you think? No, sorry, sorry. I said the date. I, 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 said I the don't date. know anything about this. Okay, so check this out. Look at these five the watches. You see these five watches right there? Which one would you wear to a date? The date at. Marco says date just. I mean, 
what, 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 what kind of restaurant did you go to? What fancy restaurant? Tim, did you show this? Well, on how fancy? Oh, no, no, I didn't show it yet. Hold on, hold on. I'll, I'll show it in just a second. Huh? How fancy? Candles. Yeah, how fancy. Did like you see it with the prices? Okay. Did you see it with the price? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He did. He, I, I think. You got that picture, right? That uh, do our have good the friend. Picture. Uh, let's see. But he uses different name in the email, so it fucks with my brain. You know, it, as usual. Uh, go in the private chat. What? I'm gonna sure. message you on private chat. What are you gonna message me in the private chat? When oh, I'm the prices. Um, the prices don't look that bad. Well, no, it's because I don't think it's white gold, like you said. Wait, what are you talking about? But the price is cheap. It's, it looks like it's going to be steel. Oh, you're talking about the 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 the, the, blue, blue, the blue Deton? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm just trying to quiz Joe. Joe, let me just a answer Joe. Joe, Joe, what, what, which one of these watches would you wear to a date? Well, if it's a candlelight dinner, the JLC makes sense. Ooh. He actually wore the day just. <laughs> I knew it. Yeah. They just is flashy. That's what I said. Flashy. Everybody said, everybody said reverso, but you gotta impress. You know what I'm saying? If you're trying to hit on the first day, you gotta impress. I and honestly, the honestly I, the, I think to a girl, the reverso would be more impressive. But but, no, but let's. Uh, what, I don't know what the fuck that is. How did it go, Alex K? Well, let's just just ask him. Did it did it go did it go well? Did the, what Tim is asking is, did you pipe or not? <laughs> <laughs> That's what Tim was asking. Yeah. <laughs> May as well. I mean, there's no need to beat around the bushes with it. No, reverse. I'm saying uh, I think to a For woman, women, reverse yeah, would be more impressive stuff. than the date just. Right. In my opinion. I don't think so. I think I, really? to somebody who doesn't know watches, Tim, they have no idea what they're looking at. Alex K says that uh, uh, no, a good option would be the Santos medium no date. Well, he's too. He's he's big, so get him get a large. He's a fat. He's a fat. Yeah, and cardio tanks, cardio tanks. Let's be honest. Uh, he's not. He's not that fat, but uh, ooh. he ain't what? skinny. That's for sure. No, no, he's not. He's not. He ain't missing no meals. No. He ain't intermittent fasting. That's for sure. He's the guy. He's the guy <laughs> I was hiking with, right? The with remember that video I showed. Oh you? yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Right. So he's not. He's not on the skinny side. Uh okay. Uh oh, Jay Wright. Hi Tim. Would you help assist in joint venture to make a life of AC3 biography video? That sounds like a lot of work. <laughs> Archie already gave me homework to create all these icons for for his channel. So and I have actual I actually have homework coming up. Hasn't yeah. he already done that? Like, doesn't he have videos like where you went to high school and blah 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 blah. Yeah, yeah. Somebody just There's a whole AC3 together. movie. He has the full AC3 movie, like that two-hour wow. movie. Remember? It's not, it's not yeah, it wasn't movie. about power, lust, and revenge. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I, I haven't watched that in a little while. It's a little too long for me to watch, to be honest with you. Ooh! And look at this, guys. Alex K says, "Tim, she didn't care what watch I wore, but she told me that I smelled good. I used the Sauvage <laughs> okay. Eau de Parfum." There you go. That's what I'm telling you guys. So people tell me, you know, I get some hate from from wristwatch lovers because like I'd be doing the show and then I pull out a fragrance, right? And I say, oh, check out this fragrance. And people email me and send me messages and they tell me, why did you talk about that fragrance? You know, it completely ruined the whole thing. Uh, and, I, and then look, that's the evidence. This is why. Guys, by the way, check this out. JJ traded... Harry de Armes, pure parfum for a tripod. I he didn't he's a he gave it to me because he's allergic to it, which is really sad. But this thing is so ridiculous. I, I was just gonna give him a tripod, but he's so nice. He gave me this in return. And check out the bottle. It says it has H at the bottom. And uh, so my friend he he stopped by yesterday, and I was showing him the 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 cap. Check this out. It's a, like a f fidget spinner. You pull it, and it clicks into place. Listen to that. Listen. We heard it. Yeah, it's like a magnet. It no no it ah it's yeah it's so satisfying. I was playing around with this thing like right, two I'm hours. Pretty sure it sounds like a magnet, Tim. If I'm being honest, it kind of 
there is yeah it, it like locks in there's some kind of right. like internal mechanism it it twists and then it like locks it's so fun to do i was like fucking around with my frog. uh oh here we go <laughs> guys newest... get savage savage or the parfa uh Kypermite frog Thierry, Thierry de Hermes is good. Oh, oh. that's not the, the one I'm sorry. Okay, about. are you okay? Okay, but <laughs> ooh, Thierry de Herpes. <laughs> Woo! vicious. Marco, I still have that quartz format with questions. Oh, quiz. Um, yeah, but uh, l let me be honest. I don't think I don't think Arch would want to do it. To be honest mm. with you. That's why I said, Jerry, right, don't put too much effort into it because there's a big, big chance he won't want to do it. And I asked him about it and he said, eh, not really. It's not really what the guy's like watching. So, the, you know, Archie wants to do whatever, whatever you can do for him. <laughs> no, Arch wants like, to do no. whatever pays him good dollars. Right, right. Dollar, dollar bills. That's why that's why he gave me an assignment to do the 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 membership stuff. But uh, hey, hey, it's gonna be fun. I'm actually I actually want to do a thing. Let me show you guys. Uh, let me actually do the plug right here. Check this out. You see it for four dollars. Uh, you see when if you're a new member, we we see, actually I don't have like people who are one month, two months, or six months, or twelve months old. But if, when you become a member, you get the the green icon next to your name, and that means you're a paid customer. And also you get access to emojis and uh, also there's some there's actually a whole now that i activated this thing on my uh youtube channel what happens now there's a secret section just for members it's so freaking cool so i post some uh well let's be honest there's not that much stuff there yet but i will be adding a lot of like background stuff uh so if you want to become a member Check it out, please. It would really, really mean a lot. It's only four bucks. Click the button below Marco. It's just like run right under Marco's chin. It says join. <laughs> uh, Pavel, Aqua di Omo. <laughs> Jubilee, Jubilee. You can have 100K watch on, but smell like shite. Use good fragrances, you smelly bastards. Exactly. Man, I'm gonna as soon as I get that uh, Savage Marco, I'm gonna send it to you. Probably gonna add some bunch of other stuff. Uh, no Tuxedo. I'll take your hand me downs any day of the week. Mm. JLC, I will take where the is that section? The secret section. Oh, it's like it's member section. Actually, oh, 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 whatever the secret stuff, it has that icon. You see it? You see JC? You see how next to your name there is that circle with two lines going through it, right? So whatever whatever videos and like posts you see that have that icon, only you can see it. Only paid members can see it. It's pretty cool. Boba Hotep. I get a lot I get a lot of compliments from women when I wear cuties by I think Carrera. it's pretty. Cuir means leather in French. Cuir. Cuir. No, it's cuir. 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 No. Oh, I can't say it. You read Not it. Not exactly. It's, it's cuir. cuir. Yeah, it's cuir, which means leather in French. By Ooh. Carner Barcelona Eau de Parfum. Oh, yeah. Leather fragrances. Oh. Freaking sexy. Freaking sexy. Oh, yeah. Queer. <laughs> <laughs> Bobo Dad just said queer lol. Yeah, because you pronounce it queer like you know, like queer. A LGBT <laughs> Q L M N O P <laughs> Tuscan leather. Leather. Tuscan leather. Probably you know probably why you get a lot of compliments from leather fragrances? Because they're so strong. They just explode. And when people can actually smell your fragrance, they're more likely to compliment. The weak fragrances, you're not going to get compliments. Weak fragrances are just kind of for you, uh, whereas strong fragrances are kind of for, for everyone. Toyota Mo, what's up, Fikers? Hey. Yeah, I saw you got a Sermit, right? Congrats, Toyota Mo. Whoa. He's got the Tiffany OP and he's got a Sermit now. It's a hell of wow. a two piece right there. That's amazing. Yeah. Holy shite. Wow. Grand Seco. 
Where's Eric? Love you, bra. Oh, <laughs> uh, he he couldn't he couldn't make it today. Uh, Kermit Frog. Hey, Toyota, you got lucky, Fike. Congratulations, of course. Congratulations to Toyota Mo. Sorry, I missed the chat in AC3 stream. Was busy handling business at AD. Thank you, everyone, uh, in that stream. Yep, yep, yep. Ooh, Sermit. Wow. You know, I, I Tim, are you had... starting to regret your decision? Yeah, that's what that's, that's what it sounds like. It sounds like a sigh of uh, of Fike. I made the wrong decision. Because you're gonna have to wait we for need... that Daytona, anyways. Well, even on the off chance like there is no Explorer gonna... two or Daytona, then he's really screwed up. Well, he can still get the sermon. He'd probably be next one to get it. I mean, yeah. you said, right, if if they don't come out with anything, then you want to serve it, right? Yeah. Right. So you're fine. It's just, you know, you know how it is. You know how when you when you when you were on the waiting list, that feeling of that that unease, Ooh. it's like in the back of your mind kind of feels good, kind of feels good. Man, but if I made the right decision, holy fight. That's going to be incredible. I just hope I did the right thing. Tim, I you turned down that date thing. just in 36 mil. Hmm? Did you ever see that one with the purple dial and diamonds on it? What? Yes. What, what, yeah, I turned it, that one down. Was... They came at me one more time with the, with an offer of, what was it, like 9-8 out the door. And I turned it down. 9,800? Mm-hmm. Can you put they can they put you on the waiting list for something in addition to that? Not really anything I really want to be put on the waiting list for other than the Explorer 2, but that's only if it hits like a 40 mil, a true 40 mil, which I highly doubt Rolex would go back in in size. If anything, they'd probably push it up to a 43. Hmm. You know, I'm babysitting uh, 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 a day just 36. Yeah, and it feels really small on my wrist. I don't know. Wh I don't know why. I almost felt like is this thirty four. But w what's the size of your wrist, Joe? Again, it's 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 six. Oh, because because the the images you sent me, it looked really good. Ten centimeters, but six point uh, six point three inches. Six point three. It's not that much larger. I guess it is. It has to do because my my wrists are really flat. Like they're thin. You see how thin they are. Oh well, yeah, mine's the same way. Like it. it it's thin and narrow. No, no, no. I think your th your wrists are thicker. Not, they're just not by a whole lot. I mean, I don't, I don't think so. I think they're fairly small. Okay, what do you guys think? Who's oh, take off the watch? Take off the watch. Oh, oh no, no. Do the other hand. Do the other hand. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. I already got it off, anyways. But who whose wrists are thick? No, no. Okay, I'll do it like that. Whose wrists are thicker, guys? Because I think I have really thin wrists, but wide and flat. You see that? And turn it. Do it again. I don't know. I think, huh? It's interesting. Interesting. Hmm. Thirty-six <laughs> left, right. My wife. My wife remembers the the whole left uh, left right joke. <laughs> I I don't know. I I tried on the thirty-six. It looked really bad on me. But maybe it was the, my perception. It, I don't know. The 36 just seems to ride like a 35 and a half. I don't know. It, it kind of seems that way to me. Mm, Maybe even the, a 34, the, dare I say. Can I show that picture? <clears throat> yeah, sure. I'm sure. Okay. Let's take a look. It looked good. Let's see. Any secret messages? Did anybody send me something secret? I always get some, uh, some secret... Uh, message oh yes i got two people two people message two new messages Ooh, the sub. whoa what is this oh, okay so there's a new guy by the way guys check out timwright.com uh i'm giving away uh to a random person uh 10 milliliters of creed aventus that's like 50 dollars worth of Creed fragrance, probably the best fragrance in the world. 
Uh, if you sign up, once I reach a hundred uh, members, I'm gonna give it away. I'm ship it, whatever, worldwide. Okay, so check out timright.com. Oh, somebody just said. Okay, let me just reply. Hello, there we go. Thank you for signing up. Thank you for signing up. There we go. And uh, Joe. Okay. Oh, let me actually, you know what? Let me tear these images out of here. Because I don't want to leak any of people's emails. That'd be horrible. Like, 36 rides on your wrist really well. I'm, I I don't know. It makes no sense how it could be so this good. Check this out. You wouldn't believe that this is a 36. So That's a 41, by the way. Oh, that's a 41. Okay. Yeah, that's it looks a 41. Good. And it's, it's, no, it's too long. Like, I mean, look at, look at it on the lug. It's way too Think long. Think the lugs? It's nah, fine. No. Nah. No, no, no. It's just perfect. No, I mean, look at the way it, like, I mean, you got to look at the way it leans all the way off now. The 36 mil would probably fit me better, realistically. What do you think, guys? Does this feel like it's too big? <clears throat> I think Pavel, so. I'm jealous, I'm jealous, Mo. My AD said Panda would be easier for him to do this year, but he knows I'd buy either... In an instant. Uh, what were they talking about, though? But, well, after wearing the sermon, you have to be insane to refuse it. <sighs> yeah, I'm pretty crazy. I'm pretty, pretty crazy. So. Yeah. What do you think? Is it too big? Marco, is this too big? I'm sorry. I wasn't looking. Yeah, check it out. Mm, if it's too big, yeah, I I think it is. I mean, look at the just way the, the hair. Off. Yeah, it's 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 a little too big. But to be fair, I think they had five links drop out of this. So usually I only need three links drop out. So yeah. even then, I still think it's too big. Just even if, even if I had that one extra link put in that, I think it's just too big. I think thirty six mm. mil probably be more appropriate. <clears throat> What about what? What is this? This per, this pearl dial? This is this is this just regular pearl dial? Because it feels no some other pearl. So um, apparently a lady had returned it. I don't know why, but it was brand new, and she brought it back in about three days later. So wanted something different, I guess. So they huh. just threw it in their youth section. <clears throat> hmm. Keith Parent. Welcome to the show, Keith. Looks like you're what you one of the newer viewers. Aventus 2020, 2021 is not in the same league as the 2015 batch. Huh? A, a lot of people say that. A lot of people say that. I wonder if it has something to do with like oxidation. If those batch the older batches because they've been aging this whole time maybe they they actually kind of changed over time but uh interesting very interesting jay right can we have a look at that bag arch is getting oh yeah well i don't know if we can look at that same bag but uh whoa what the hell just happened whoops shoot okay uh birkin bags let's just do uh, i want to do used um what did they say oh the real real so it's like one of these they come in different colors obviously these are all used new they're like ten thousand. Used, they go for like 15 something like that like the really funky ones they're super expensive, and there are colors that are more rare than other colors, because it's it's the same is uh, the same is the same way that it's with the like Daytona dials, right? There are like super rare Daytona dials, and then there are like not so rare, and there's like stuff like this. Uh, well, I don't want to sign in. How do I get rid of this screen? Let's 
see it. But yeah, it's like one of these. Oh, I can't, I can't zoom it in. I have to, you know, I have to, but anyways, let's just look at images. I think that's going to be better. Like that. Bam. What do you think, Joe? Do you like this, this bag? I never really got big in a bag. Like for for the overnight bag, I typically have the Nike uh, double bag. That's about it. Mm. Would you consider something like this in the future? Fuck no. This is like twenty thousand dollar bag. It looks it looks it's a, it's a good men's bag too. Look at that. Wow. That's a men's bag. I mean, it's unisex. Men wear these bags too. Especially like this color. <laughs> My wife says that suddenly she really likes this show. <laughs> Ooh, EPC says Birkin Ostrich, I think, is the most sought after. We're going to have to talk to ER about that. Yeah, isn't Jesus it that alligator one? That's the most sought after? Oh, you mean like the... What's it called? Yeah, doesn't it go for Albino. like five million or some shit like that? Albino. Yeah, there's one that go like ridiculous money. Is this Cardi B? Look at this. Shoot. Are those all Birkins? Yeah. Jesus fucking Christ! How many? How they're... much money is that? Well, it's a lot of money. Why? Why? Because that's the, that's like Rolex collection. You know, like ask okay. not an Asian why he only collects Rolex, <laughs> right? Right? Like, get it? It's it's exactly the same way. It's exactly the same way. Oh, here's the full image. Check that out. Wow. Damn. Seven days a week. What does that mean? What? That's that song. Wap. Oh. Wap. Oh, I don't listen to her. Like, she's not missing out. What's the I got to be honest. She is exactly what I hate about modern music. Just awful. Really? It's just awful. I said certified freak. Seven days a week. Wet ass pussy. <laughs> Make that pullout game weak. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Jesus yeah. Christ. Yeah. <laughs> you, you know your wife is watching the show, right? Pussy, bring a bucket <laughs> and the <a> mop. <laughs> yeah, this, is, this is a family-friendly program. Extra large and extra hard. Put this pussy right in your face. Swipe your nose like a credit card. <laughs> Jesus, man, damn. I need to. I need to practice this. This is uh. It's why too, do you need to practice it at all? Too funny. Man, she's good. She's good. <laughs> Disgusting. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, working edge sharpening. Tim's new direction. The cuckold show. <laughs> really. Uh, sang me panel. Uh, sang me should be on the panel to talk about bags. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. But we do. I am looking to. Ooh, recruit women if they're interested in uh, in being on the panel. Let me just drop an invite link. If any of the women who are watching the show would like to come on, and uh, well, that's kind of sounded kind of weird, but uh, if they want to <laughs> come on the show and talk to us, it's gonna be really fun. Pavel, she'll be selling those bags in twenty years after overspending and overestimating her longevity. That's what men do. This is why Archie is selling his paddocks sometimes. But the cool thing about the Hermes bags, you can always get out of them, you know? Turmo, damn, if he offers you Sermit tomorrow, but he says he can get Panda in four months, what do you do? Yeah, this is, this is the dilemma question, guys. What do you do? Check this out. What, 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 oh, I got it. I got it. Here's the question. Let's do. Let's let's start with Marco. Marco, here's the question. What's the question? Okay, what do you take? Do you take Sermit today, mm -hmm. or a 
fifty percent chance to get panda in four months. Sermon. You just you just take guaranteed sermon? Yeah, I prefer a sub, honestly. It's more like listen, I like the Daytona, but yeah. in terms of chronographs, there's other options. Dive watch, I think that there's really only one, and that's the sub. Mm. But again, that's not factoring in like a, what's it called? Like future value or anything like that. Like personally speaking, I prefer a sub over a Daytona. Mm. Maybe that's crazy. Let me just type this into the chat. Right. EPC says, get what you like. I agree. I would honestly like, listen, it's not to say I don't like the Panda, but I just get the Kermit, the sermon. But this is the question. Do you, do you type one to get the sermon today at retail? Or do you type two to get a 50% chance? You flip a coin. You say heads or tails. And you can get a panda in four, four, four weeks. Joe, what do you think? Sermit I would today take. Or... I would take the sermit just because it's a guaranteed lock, not because I like it. Mm. The guaranteed lock, so therefore I'm, you know, I'm. As we're with the Daytona, would you say fifty percent chance? I don't like the odds, especially with the Daytona. Um, as Anana, someone who's had enough divers in the collection, I would prefer the Daytona. But yeah, I've had a, I've had a fair amount of divers in my collection previously. <clears throat> Anandanan says a bird in the hand is worth two in the bush. Ooh, but. You know, I, the chat is really split on this one. I'm I'm looking and like Bobo Hotep says I get the sermon. Anan Anan says uh, it's also sermon. But Logan Hall says I'll take fifty percent chance to get the panda. Well, what does he have in his collection, by the way? Uh, who? Logan Hall? Yeah, the guy asking the question. Oh, he has a three piece. He has a nice. What uh, does he have? He has. You see, he has that. Uh, uh the c master i have i have his collection somewhere oh here. we're talking marty evans no, no sorry no it's it's not marty evans collection What's oh his it name? looks marty evans collection looks very similar actually right right this is marty evans right that's the one i was thinking yeah, yeah but but what's uh, the collection we're talking logan about logan hall let me just see if i can logan my... hall logan hall oh my oh no this is my gmt Where's Logan Hall? You don't have these labeled? I they're no, they're labeled, but there's just so many. Uh Mike T, Marty Evans. Shoot. It's right there, right next to the one you have in blue. Which one? In the blue. top row, top row, second, yes. the one to the oh, right. Logan Hall, right there. there you Bam. Go. You're right. Oh, You're welcome. Look at this. So thank you. <laughs> very, very Oh, cool. definitely, definitely get the sermon. That's gonna be so cool. Yeah, mm. I would agree. Maybe yeah, green, blue, and black. Chat. Yeah, green, blue, and black. Flip the day just. Flip it, flip it. Oh, I think... Wait. Yes, we we actually we talked with him that he should go to the AD because he sent us the picture of the of his day just, right? Right. And we were talking about that he should flip this it basically, you should go to the AD and try to get on the waiting list for something uh, more substantial, right? And then sell this to his sister or someone in the family. Mm -hmm. You know, do something like, oh, right. I have this Work grandfather. Work that jazz, right? It's his grandfather's watch. Yeah. Oh, Logan Hall, by the way, let me know if you went to the AD. Have you Have you went to the AD? Oh, it wasn't Logan Hall who asked the question. No, no. He Logan Hall just said that he would, he would get the panda instead of... Uh, sermon now he would he would take the chances on the panda rather than get the sermon that's but who why originally I, asked the question i asked the question oh you asked the question guys. yeah <laughs> i'm sorry i'm lost dude my brain is fried i had a long day yeah no, no i've been up okay. since like 7 a.m writing a stupid essay hey i understand that tim i, I have an essay due at 6 p.m today i finished it at 2 30. <laughs> This that's the level of motivation I have nowadays. Working edge sharpening says I'll take fifty percent chance all day long. Wow, some people really want the panda. That's incredible. The love that some people have for the panda, incredible. Tim, how about Ermy's belt? 
eight hundred dollars. Are they worth it? Hell no. Just get like a regular belt, to, like uh, for twenty five bucks. That's no, it. I have Gucci belt. I never wore it. I guess. Yeah. Why would you buy that, Tim? What don't you have? That's my question. <laughs> like this dude has everything. I got it, but I just never had a chance to wear it. You know, it's weird because I have this amazing belt. This is probably the problem. I have this Tanner belt. By the way, guys, if you want an amazing belt, lifetime, Tanner goods, Tanner goods. I'll show you the belt that I'm wearing all the time. It's freaking amazing. Check this out. Standard belt. This is it. It's like the quality is incredible. This is the one I have. I have the, I think it's just this one with brass hardware. Oh, they're, they're, oh, they're out of stock. They're, they're running low. Check Are this out. Good? What do you think? I just buy like Tommy Hilfiger belts. They're like 20 bucks on sale. Right here. Look and they're that. reversible. I no, like but those this, reversible Look, it's one, one piece of leather. Look, let me show you. This the quality on this thing is insane. From a distance, oh. doesn't fake leather oh. and real leather look the same? Wait, I I don't know. How did I Oh, sorry, Joe. Okay. What's so special about that? It's one solid piece of leather. Look at that. It's indestructible. This is going to last me a lifetime. How thick is it? Well, it's look, thick look with how, three C's. Look how thick. Extra thick. Extra long and extra thick. Certified freak. Seven days a week. Oh my god. Make Please that stop. Please stop. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it definitely won't last a lifetime. You see the wear on the what's it called? Yeah, look at the end. No, I just have to put some of that leather, uh like uh leather milk. I have it. You have to so, treat the Tim, leather nice. I have a belt like that, but it's a lot thicker. Um, so I I occasionally do a concealed carry. So I got a belt mm. very similar to that, where it's really thick and it had that roll on there. Um, they're they're really rigid when you get them. I mean, they're like like you have to kind of just fold them over <laughs> and leave a book land on. They're great belts, mm. but um. The only thing I like about them is they do have a little heft to them. Wait, them. Joe changed his watch. You're wearing the sub now? Weren't you wearing the Explorer earlier? Yeah, we're yeah, the I changed, sub I brothers. changed it a long time ago. We're, we're all wearing subs now. I'm sorry, guys. My brain this is, is the totally sub fried club. right now. <laughs> sub club. Yeah, the sub no club. Oh, by no the way, date. I should... No date. I'm sorry. I should put you guys together like that. It's the no dates. The no dates. And I'm the date loser. You know? With that wart. Yeah. Certified freak. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Irma's belt is cringe. Save money. Buy Creed. Smell better. Exactly. Look, get this tenor goods. It's a hundred. Why is it working like that? Oh, yeah. It's $100. It's incredible. I had this this belt for like five years now. I love it. And that's why I'm not wearing my, uh, my, I don't get this one, by the way. I, I had to sell it. It's too thick. This is like Joe, like what you're saying. I had this yeah, belt. It, it wouldn't make for a good dress belt, but it would make just in general for a good service belt, if, if you know yeah. what I mean. Yeah. <clears throat> but I think this one is better all around. All around. That's just, this is better. And I can put the Leatherman on it. It's really nice. Because, uh, Tim, I'm surprised you don't have like an Omega belt. I was I was wearing a, a Rolex belt. I was wearing this, uh, you know, uh, Leatherman on on the belt, and that fits perfectly. It's a really good work be uh, work belt. Designer belts, garbage. Exactly like the Gucci belt, really cheesy. Like these belts, designer belts, they're very cheesy. Maybe get the wallet. Irma's wallet actually looks amazing. So I would go for that. Get this belt. Get the tenor goods. I don't get kickback. I don't have the code. You know, they're not sponsoring me yet. But 
freaking love their belt. I want to get the black one as well. Oh, I shouldn't be saying this stuff on, on the air because my wife is listening. She'll kill me if she sees uh, another one of these belts arrive in the mail. Because she says, no, I don't like tenor goods belt. Yeah, she only likes, you know. Luxury. Just get the cheap one. It'll make her happy. This way you can buy her stuff. Mm. Mm. Thick, like Chubmariner. <laughs> Chubmariner. Is tenor goods full grain leather? It's top grain. Top grain, right? What did they say? One second. They said right here. <laughs> Let's see. It's the highest uh, quality because there's uh, there's a lot of like weird stuff. This the standard belt emphasizes utilitarian styling and is built to last and improve with age, featuring a matching leather keeper and material hardwood. The edges are dyed, burnished, waxed. Each belt is stamped with the signature mark. Each belt comes with the stainless steel brass. Da, 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 da. Um, oh, okay. So here what they said. 10 to 11 ounce English bridal leather. Okay? It's not of that fake leather crap. It's the real deal. It's expensive. It probably cost them like 90 bucks to make it and they're selling it for 110. It's crazy. They're lunatics for for selling them so cheap. Because my uh, Gucci belt, I'm sorry, my Gucci belt, that lady's belt, no, it's not. It's not. Nub Gunner, it's legit. It's legitimately, look, Nub Gunner, I, I think you missed this. Look, look at, oh, why is this, Joe, it's, you're on again, sorry. Look. It's real men's belt. Are you kidding me? Look at that. Thick. Look at that. It's, but not too thick. I love this belt. If you have kids, by the way, it's great. You know, to... Discipline. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, oh, my wife likes Ferragamo. Ferragamo belts. They're really popular in Brooklyn and in New York in general. That horseshoe shape. Pavel, my best leather goods are Milt Sparks holster. Oh, 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 oh. a holster. He's got like a year-long waiting list. Really? Oh, you have two? Yeah. How come you have two and I have only one? I bought for you too. She has two leather uh, tanner goods belts. I don't like. Well, she doesn't like them. That's sad. Well, these things are amazing. Can you bring them? Let me show you. Oh, no, they're probably too small, aren't they? No, they're too small, right? They're thin. You see, this is ladies' version. So then why don't you sell them online? So well, they're worthless. They're like, they're worthless. They don't have a brand name. Right. Well, no, I'm saying they're not like Gucci. People are not looking to buy these. Yeah, don't buy it for the wife. So it's the thing that you buy and you die with. Well, how you have two? That's crazy. Yeah, don't buy for it's crazy. I need to get one more. Can I get one more to match? Look, you have the black one. I want the black one as well. What do you think? Ah! Don't buy for the wife. Okay. Don't whip me. Dangerous wife. Hmm. I didn't know she had two. Bubba Hotep. Not only a belt, but a child development tool. Yes. Multi purpose. Correct. It's multi purpose. <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> Working edge trafficking. Now Tim is promoting child. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with a little negative reinforcement, guys. Uh, you gotta throw oranges in the sock. Big oranges in the sock. They don't leave a bruise and it gets the message across. The thing is, though, it's really good for uh, self asphyxiation, by the way. These belts, they can really get around the neck. Not that Tim, I know I'll it from personal experience. Now, don't don't advice. get it confused. <laughs> Tim looking for the next role in Fifty Shades of Grey. Tied to the <laughs> That's a really good idea, Casey. Aquatics. Tied to the bedpost. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, oh, oh. 
by the way, oh 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 oh, bear is in the in the chat. Rawr. What's the name of that belt? I missed the name. It's Tanner Goods. Tanner Goods. Tanner Goods. They actually have a lot of stuff. They have some amazing stuff, guys. One hundred ten dollars. It's U.S. made. It's made in USA. Do you Why love don't you the just country? get a reversible like Tommy Hilfiger belt or something like that, guys? It's those made are like twenty dollars. It's made 20, in China. 20, I support that's United States. Point. Do you love Do you love America, Marco? No, I love discounts. Good discounts. What the, the discounts come from China? <laughs> Good value. That's what I like. This is this value is, for this money. is the problem. Tim, I'm gonna take a shower, wash the stank off me, and go to bed. All right, Joe. Thank you for joining me tonight. That was that was pretty awesome. Ah, funny stuff. Funny stuff. Oh, they they have amazing wallets. Check this out. Look at this wallet. Sexy. Absolutely amazing. Like this this makes really great gift. What do you think? Uh I would get hold on. I would get a beautiful slim Mont Blanc wallet. Oh, but that's where's that made? It's Italian leather. Well, where is it made? No it's idea. Italian. Oh well look, they have the same thing here. Check it out. I bought this on eBay. On look, Flebay. I think. They, they have these. Maybe on PGG. Look, but they make them. Box and papers. $60 Canadian. Look. They have the same thing. Made in United States. If you love the country, if you have, if you love America, this is what you do. You support the country by, by US made. It's really cool. I like this brand. Make sure I'm not showing any bank cards. <laughs> Imagine. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, Logan Holt. Joe has to wash that web juice off of him. Boom! And that's the winner for tonight. Thank you, Logan Holt. <laughs> See, even Bear has a Mont Blanc wallet. They're very good wallets, to be fair. Very good wallets. I like all their leather. Mont Blanc mm. leather is really good. Expensive, but good. Mm. Mm. You know, I. Oh no, no, I don't have Montblanc. I have Montblanc pen. I don't know where. Shit. Fuck. Okay. I I don't know where I put it. Shit's all over the place. Like my bookshelf, it's impossible to find anything. So, I, I have somewhere. Somewhere. Nub Gunner, no one uses wallets like that anymore. What about this one? This is cool. You know, I have a... See, my wife, she gifted me this Gucci wallet. I have it for a long time now. Let me just... See? Very... Simple. Mike. Wait. Like right now, I don't know what's going on. Yeah, like that. Very, very simple. There you go. Just two, two, two card holders. Yeah. I'll DM you a picture of mine. Oh yes, 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 please. Oh DM. It's not it's not on the Instagram. There we go. Let's see. Mm. Bear approved. Oh, what did the bear say? Oh, he says he loves Mont Blanc. Mont Blanc. By the way, when I was in, uh, when I was buying my Mont Blanc pen, the the salesperson said, "Oh, it will go really good with your Rolex." <laughs> Such a cheesy thing to say, man. Probably the, like she knew it just to sell it to me. Like, oh, it matches your your Rolex so well. It's like, mm, damn it, you're saying it to sell the pen to me, and now I can't not buy it, right? Bear, uh, but this belt reminds me uh, on belts from my military days. I like it. Yeah, Bear, that Tenor Goods belt, 
freaking amazing. Gucci is best for wallets. Right, exactly. That that was that wallet. I was I'm shocked by the quality of that wallet. Thank you, sir. Mr. Two. Oh, what did I mean? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The sermon. They're celebrating the sermon. Ah. Oh, okay. I get it now. See ya. Nub Gunner's talking about this. This is like the next the next level. It's like a tactical tool wallet. It's not even the wallet. It's like a card holder. Not even using cash. It's beyond he moved away from cash. Damn, it's got like a ruler on it and all kinds of tools. Can, oh, can I you, like huh? Can you hear me? Yes. Okay, sorry. I don't know why, but my mic was bugging. Oh yeah? Which one? The, the rodent? Yeah, the rodent. And the fucking rodents are fucking with it. You know how it They're is. They're chewing up the wires late at night when I'm sleeping. Mm. Oh, yeah. Hold on. I'll be back, guys. Yep. Mm. I wanted to talk about this Piaget Polo Skeleton Edition. Have you guys seen this thing? Now, I was not a bit, I was never a big fan of the polo because it's kind of cheesy. But you know, like I'm I'm really appreciating the skeleton edition. I thought they did a really good job. Check it out. What do you think? Piaget. Piaget Polo. There's too much branding. Like they have Piaget over here in the corner and they have Piaget on the I guess this is the back of the rotor. Have you seen this Piaget, man? Uh, I'm pretty sure it's the Polo S collection. I've never seen this model, though. Okay, this is brand new. Yeah. Skeleton. I don't really think it looks good, to be honest with you. Right? Very few brands do skeletons well, if I'm being honest. You know... Because it's too monochromatic, you know? Like, it's yeah. too much of one color. That's why I like the AP Skeleton. There's, like, different pops color a little all over the dial. Mm. And finishing is different. Like, this is just one finishing, like, one way of finishing a watch, and it's all one color. Yeah. Very weird. Wow. And, you know, I'm really I'm really liking the simplicity of this movement. Because usually these movements, they're so complicated. But this skeleton here really shows how simple. Look, look at that. Like, how gorgeous that is. It, it feels surreal, kind of like. I mean, it's just a micro rotor movement. I know, but, but it's nice. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, the way they exposed it, it's pretty amazing. Yeah, look at that. There's not many skeletons. I honestly really like. I don't know why. I, I'm not Infinity. a big skeleton fan. Yeah, no, no. Like, the, yeah, me too, me too. I, I like. I don't like actually. Uh, none of the paddock skeletons. They just look freaking awkward, especially the the skeletonized uh, uh, like fifty seven elevens. There's like you know that that like a travel time fifty seven eleven that has like just a small section of it skeletonized. It just looks weird. But this Piaget, it just the it's just the way they skeleton. Did they build this movement ground up just for skeletonization, or did they took an existing movement and skeletonized it? Yeah, they might have just taken an existing movement and just uh, just change it a little bit. Here, let me share one that I actually like. One yeah, skeleton. Yeah. I just share my screen. Here we go. It's by an independent brand called Arnold and Son. It's oh, called their yes, Nebula yes, collection. No, Arnold and Son. This is That's their insane. Nebula collection. I actually oh, kind of like this. Like it looks very steampunky. Yeah. No, these are just the barrels. It's double barrel. Fuck. Yeah, That's the top really is double well barrel. Done. Wow. On the left is uh, the seconds, obviously, and then the balance bridge. Oh, it's damn. more balanced, I find. You know, it's very yeah. steampunk looking like. Yeah. Well, the way the way it the the, the the this movement is attached to the like the outside, right? Like it's got six attachment points it looks right. like right like those but those if you go insane. skeleton you know which one yeah. like what is it the seven the pat uh the oh, 7097 oh, i think oh yeah yeah that's the bank per buck no no this is not the one it's not the like 
seven. That's the one. Yes. These are the ones. These are really oh. good value. Ridiculous value on the secondary oh, market. Yeah. That's oh, the one yeah. to get, in my opinion. Oh. And you get the best of both worlds. You get a dial skeleton, ridiculous finishing. Mm. Wow. And the back, actually, the back of that watch also has skeleton. Right. Well, I like the finishing also. Like, yeah. you see the anglage, obviously, but it's, like, very it granular. Industrial. Industrial. It's, right, exactly. Look at that. Like, the, these angles, are they're so, so weird. Like, what the hell? Whoa. Yeah. And what is that? What is that thing in the in the top right corner? Here? Yeah, yeah, with that that thing. Is that power reserve? Power reserve indicator, wow. yeah. It's there's two, I think, right? Because I think there's one on the front side also. Mm, really? Wait. Yeah. See right there? Oh, and that that was the back of it. Right, there's two though. <laughs> there's one on the back and one on the front, just so that you don't overwind the watch. Damn. That's insane. Yep. Wow. Yeah, Brega know how to do some interesting stuff. Oh my god, oh, did yeah. you see that watch? Now we're gonna send me this Godfather watch. Oh, from Jacob and Co? Yeah. It's stupid. Oh my god. Like what, not, how, did you see this watch? What from the hell is that? It's ridiculous. What a ridiculous watch. I haven't seen this. It's like a ceramic rainbow. Look alike, yeah. Like I don't know what they're trying to do on this. Did it's they? Ridiculous. Did they really mess it up? Like it looks super retro. It looks like nine, like like Tron. Yeah, like it, it look. It's too much going on. You know what I mean? Like the bezel, the case, the dial. Uh, are the hands skeleton. photoshopped? A hands photoshop? Or did they? Were they cut like that? No, no. That's the way they are. They're like they're like uh, thunderbolts. What the hell? Yeah. It's like an artsy, artistic walk. Dude, that's literally like night. Like it's Back to the Future mixed with Tron, mixed with Galaga, mixed with like Space Invader. It's very strange. Holy, I like it. I like it. It's funky. It's, it's very funky quirky. AM. Yeah, very quirky. Damn, and let me see the back. The back. The back. <gasps> There's something going on in the back too. Ooh, they got those funky colors. Interesting. Uh, the back could be better. Like if they did something with the star, if they did right. something like what they did with the front, it would be better. Yeah, I don't like the winding, like the design of the star. I think it's yeah. kind of. I think they should have done like uh, what's it called? Like the, you see that uh, thing that's the screw. I forget what it's called. Where the like the screw is uh, hidden up. It's screwed into place. The rotor, right? Yeah. yeah. They should make that into a star instead, and oh. just have like a regular rotor going around. Oh. You know what I'm saying? Like that yeah. metal piece that that's screwed in mm. into the rotor. If they make that into a star, mm, Nup Gunner is not a fan of this one. <laughs> hey, this is like uh, it's as any position says. It's weird. Uh, let's see it from the angle. From the angle, the the no the, the no 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 bottom. Yeah, on the yes, left sir. side. No, on the left side. Yes. Let's close it up. Oh, look at that hand. Oh, that is weird. You can see they definitely put a lot of work into it. Wow. <laughs> There's your daily dose of your wow. Shoot, yeah. That, I got to say, I got to say, that's the wow. Damn. Mmm. Obviously, I would never be able to afford one of these. I, I, I just appreciate. It's different. It's different. I haven't seen something like this done before. Different is uh, a gross mischaracterization. It's very oh. out there. It's out okay. there. Well, have you seen this G-Shock? Let me show you this G-Shock. So now, so because this is very similar, right? So this is the new G-Shock. Jesus Christ. $1,100. Yeah, well, I was not supposed to reveal it right off the bat. But look at this. Yeah, eleven hundred dollars. What do you think? It's very similar, right? But you can I see the quality difference. I think they're out of their difference. bloody mind. Well, you can see the quality difference, right? You close this up, and it's garbage, right? 
we pull I up mean, we, we pull up the the zenith and you can see the quality on the colors you see it yeah look at that let me then i'm gonna flick look at this see this and then look at that you see it? damn it's just and it's a, it's a, it's in the cheap plasticky way it says tough solar oh man they're really so they're based it on the frog like they they're really running out of ideas guys uh like these 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 watchmakers they really don't know what to make a watch about like how do we sell this crap how do we move product that's the question right they're like, wow, why not make a product? Why not make it based on a frog? It's probably like one of the designers was just Googling weird stuff, right? And he came across a frog. And that's why it led to this. But that's insane price. They're probably going to go over retail, I swear. Let's see. Are they already on eBay? On the flea bay? I mean, oh yeah. Be... Ooh! Ooh, guys. People already flicking them for double. For double. Oh, what the flick? Yo. That's insane. I mean, you got to be crazy. Shoot. You know, you know who buys these? Uh, people with too much time and money on their heads. No, no. You have to lick the, one of those poisoned frogs to buy one of these. <laughs> okay. The, the guys on DMT, right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> There you go. That was what what about this? What do you think of this? Is this a micro brand? It's a micro brand. It's a new micro brand from it looks like what? Detroit? Hmm. Maryland. Baltimore, Sal? Maryland. What is Sal. it called? Sal. Sal Baltimore. What do you think? What does it mean? I don't get it. I don't know. It means it's I, I hate the logo already, just to start just just right. to get this out of the way. Same I hate here. the logo. It's like it doesn't know if it wants to be Tiso or Brightling. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because it's got the T and it's got the wings. Oh, yes. <laughs> good catch. Good catch. That's what I get. That's, that's the immediate, the first thing that came to my head. Wow. Yeah. And what's the and, movement? And they have the, they stole the hands from IWC. IWC, right. <laughs> it's just like, let's just take all the, everything and the, and the dial. What is that? Is that a bronze case? Also, I fucking hate bronze yeah, case. Of course, of course. That's the Explorer One dial, and what is that? And and uh, oh, and you know what this bezel is from? No idea. Come on, Pl um, blank pan. Uh, really? It's a blank. Look, I even have a blank pan right here. I don't think so. Look at it. Look at it. Look at the blank pen bezel. It's got like this jelly bean shape. Huh. Look at the jelly bean. Look. I don't know about that one, Tim. Look at the jelly bean. You see the jelly bean? Well, it's not a jelly bean. It's a sapphire. It's because of the sapphire, right? It I think that's inside of the case. No, no. But right, but that's not outside. That's outside the case, right? The, on mean, the blonde pen. This is inside the case. No, it, I don't think it's inside the case. Yeah, it's definitely inside the case. It looks like it's on the outside. No, 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 no. That's one piece of sapphire glass. It's oh, just a bubble. Shit. It's got a, no, it's a dome. It's got the dome optical crystal. illusion. Oh, no, it's not even a dome crystal. I thought that's what it was doing. It's... It reminds me of the Longines Legend Diver for that part. I don't know if you know what that watch is. No. Right, working edge sharpening. Oh. Just put it in the chat. Low... That's what it reminds me of. Low jean, long jeans, legend diver. Mm. I know I don't like it. I don't yeah, like I don't it. Like it. It makes no sense. It doesn't know what it wants to be. Like, look, whoever whoever this guy is who started the company, 
I respect the hell out of him. Right. It's just that he well, should have consulted me before designing a watch. Because cause I want the cut. <laughs> I'm just messing. My only no. issue is, what's the movement in this? Is this a uh, Salida? Probably. Ooh, look at the close-up. Yeah, oh, man. I want to go too close. I hate the logo. I absolutely hate the logo. Uh, the article tells that Amer. Uh, the, the article tells us the movement is some American modified ETA twenty eight twenty four, which is pretty good. No, it's not. In the comments, oh, come oh, clear. It's, it's a uh, Chinese it's... clone with no ETA base at all. Ooh, Tim, you got to read a little further. <laughs> No, no, I didn't, I didn't even finish. I'm just saying. This is a okay. this is a straightforward. Shoot. What's the price on this? Straightforward shooter. Are you ready? It's five hundred bucks. <clears throat> yeah, this is Laurier. This is, when I look at this, I think of Laurier. Absolute garbage. Oh, it's on sale right now. It was nine hundred, and they're selling for six hundred fifty. Yeah, because nobody wants the bloody things. Oh, pre-ordered. Look at this. What about the green? Would you buy the green one? I mean, these guys, obviously, they're not stupid, you know? You pay for a review from Hodanki. You hope yeah. that enough stupid idiots will buy this watch. And uh, so Did you say super idiots? Stupid idiots. Oh, stupid idiots. Okay, I thought you said super idiots. <laughs> well, they're that. You can call them that also. <laughs> I mean, you got to have serious rocks in your head to buy a watch like this, guys. Like, look How at much that. do they have to flick you for you to like one of these? Oof. I mean... If I'm gonna ruin my credibility, it's got to be the right. price of a Rolex. At least the price of Ooh, a Rolex. That's a lot of money. I'm talking about like ten percent, five percent of their of how much they make of their margins. Yeah. No way. Forget that. You wouldn't work for percent. Just a couple of thousand, right? No, no. I want the cash up front. Hmm. I only work with cash, dollar dollar bills. <laughs> gotcha. That's probably a smart way to go. What if they send you one for free? Would you make a biased review? What I would do is I would make a great review about me smashing it with a hammer and saying, Ooh. don't buy this garbage. You would go full on Eric on, on this watch. Oh, 100%. What do you Dang mean? I would yeah. fling this as far as... I would flip it. I would throw it as far into the freaking Atlantic Ocean as I possibly could. Damn. Okay, well, we probably shouldn't say that on the air because now they won't send you one. Oh, no. I'm so... Uh, my My whole channel... Is is sinking because I because I just said that you know they won't send me a watch. Oh my god! Don't worry, they'll have one on TGV's channel soon enough. I'm sure. Oh yeah, watch hat. Well, how much do you think they 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 have? TGV says like, uh, uh, give me for like two percent, three percent, five percent of sales margin. He might do that. He might. I I think he might just get paid to do the reviews. You know what I mean? Also. Oh. Oh. Like, cause for them it's advertising, right? Yeah. And for so him, he gets right. It's a video. Like he might get paid. Like usually, the way that I, at least that I know it. Like so, for example, let's say you want to, you're a brand, right? And you want to work with an Instagram influencer. Yeah. Let's say, I don't know if it's the same as YouTube, right? Mm -hmm. They'll pay you like an upfront fee potentially, really? and then they'll give you like a small cut for each sale that that uh, you make, like with them using your code, right? For example. Right. So that's the way that they track uh, yes, how yes, many yes, sales code, you have. Code, right. So that's one way. Another way is purely the way that you want, which is uh, like based on your number of sales. So people who make the code, you make a commission on each on each sale. Mm. Um, those are the, typically the two ways that it works. Um, wow. Or you can get paid like just a fee up front, which is what I prefer. <laughs> But this yeah, avoid because... like the plague, man. Wow, Absolutely. That so that, many, that one. Man. Go back one. Go back one. The chronograph. No, no, that diver one. Oh, sorry. Second. No, not that one. That one right there. Yeah, that's the one. That's a blanc pan bezel. Oh yeah. Oh That's yeah, the blanc right pan there. bezel. Bam. That's the blanc pan bezel. The jelly bean. Right. That right there, that's the blanc pen bezel, IWC hands, and then the Tissot Breitling logo. My Doesn't God. get much worse than that. <laughs> Jesus Christ that? Almighty. The rubber, the, the rubber bracelet looks like a Zinn bracelet. Wow. 
I love all. Jubilee Jubilee says, I would love to see TGV on the stream one day. I reckon no one will say shit. No, listen, we'll be co- we are cordial people to any guest that comes on. I just think that he's an absolute rodent because, I mean, you're spruiking garbage watches onto people who don't know what they're buying. And that's that's the frank and God's honest truth. I'm sorry. It's business. It's business. It's, that's what YouTube does to you, Marco. Just wait until you're monetized. You'll see it. The super chats change you, man. They change you. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Just wait. Just wait. It's just a couple, couple more. Maybe, maybe like a month or two. Man, when, once you, once you have time to do a couple more vids. Jeez, I'm see. not gonna have time till the end of semester. Yeah. Uh, cooler fiend. I would rather have a Steinhardt homage than this shite. At least Steinhardt is ripping off the best. Oh, I actually tend to agree. Very good point. Yeah, I'd actually right? tend it's to like... agree. Good point, Joe Crane. Because flattery, because see... what is it? Imitation is the best form of flattery. That's right. the expression, right? Yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. Uh, Joe Crane, I can understand Bark and Hack promoting these sh- uh, these shit. Hey, oh yeah, he, he'll 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 join anybody's secret club if the money's right. Hmm. You know, I actually, I actually liked Bark and Jack until he'd made that Christopher w- Ward video, and I commented, and he replied. Like I, I said something like, "It was really that 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 thing really came out of the left field," and I commented, and he replied to something like, "I, I already forgot. Maybe I have it screenshotted, but but he later he deleted the comments, so it's like wiped it off." So I oh yeah, Archie, he's still around. That that comment. No, 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 no. I'm talking about when, when Bark and Hack made the Christopher Ward video. When he got a Christopher Ward for free. Okay. And he made a video praising. Oh, how, okay, gotcha, how gotcha. good this is. And it was un- like until that point, I actually liked uh, Bark and Jack. I would watch his video. But when, when he did that video, it literally... I started going back and realizing, like, oh, the, all this shit is fake. These these, these reviewers, he, he's a hack. He's not doing any, any like, none of these videos are legit. Like, the language is there. It was just coded. And you couldn't understand. I couldn't understand the code until he made that video with about Christopher Ward. And then the whole kind of mask off. It was like a mask off yeah. moment. He's a seller. I mean, yeah, but I didn't no know way. that until until the until that moment, and then video and then I was so it was so funny because Archie made a reply video, and it was so one of the funniest things ever. And then Gunzap made a side by side comparison. Oh yeah, that was the best. I freaking oh. love those. Those videos are the best. Gunzap yeah, wars, yeah. <laughs> the but he wars. doesn't. Uh, he, I don't think he has a channel anymore, does he? Who? Gunzap. No, still... no, the channel is up. The videos mm-hmm. are there, but the, he's probably busy doing something else. He's probably watching. He might be watching the show. Yeah, those are amazing <laughs> videos. I love those. Uh, Cooler Fiend. Tim, I don't think Chris Ward is all that bad in my opinion. No, no, it's not. It's The, the quality is, is fine. It, well, uh, it's the best micro shader brand, and you're paying $700 for watches with ETAs and Salidas. The value for money. Yeah, but you can't compare the Christopher Ward like they're selling them, and the way these people selling them, they're they're comparing them to like to, I think he compared it to Rolex, right? He said it was just as good. It's great. Let's check. Let, let's look at some of these Christopher Ward watches. I think at, at that price, just and a pull up. I just no, pulled I just... Ben Zapp's uh, channel. I'm gonna watch it tonight again. You know, the, the the what I don't like about this Christopher Ward stuff is that he changes his fucking logo every day. Like they keep changing the logo. One day it's on one side. They change it again. The huh? Yeah. Look. Look at it. Let's see. I thought it was just Christopher Ward at like nine o'clock now. Right. That's the one. Okay, but it was different, and then and then he has this. Fake... Yeah, I preferred the what old, that? the other one. Right, right. and then the this, you, you go. They, he re- he changed the logo, and right. they they don't he this clearly they don't know what they're doing with designs. They're just throwing everything at the wall, and that's kind of the problem I have with this. Like, just too many designs. Like, why did they need to make so many different watches? It makes no sense. 
Can you explain it to me? Like, why so many designs? Like, what is this? Um, I don't get it. You know what it is? It's it's a brand that ultimately doesn't understand its customers. And so they try and create a bunch of different products and hope that they sell. That's what it is. Yeah. Plain and simple. I mean, they're shooting in the dark and hoping that it uh, that it works out. Because let's be honest, Tim, that is fucking ugly. But that is know, ugly. You know what? This is better than 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 this other brand that we were looking at. This Tao. Yeah, but I mean, this is just garbage. Ward. That one's absolute garbage. Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't get either if I'm being totally totally yeah. honest. Yeah. No, but I'm saying between those two, definitely Christopher Ward. Um. Yeah, we'll back to different. <laughs> I mean, there's a lot of garbage here. Like this it's one. Shit! Up? It's absolute garbage. Look at this. What the fuck? This is literally. This is a knock. Oh my god. This is a homage to a squally. What the flip? I don't know. Are you seeing this? Oh yeah, the hands, right? The Dude. Hand. Yeah. Oh my god. I just realized. Yeah. This is. Ooh, Spence R five dollars. I was a bit late. Have we spoke movement yet? <laughs> hey, listen. If the money's right, I will do it for you. Ten thousand Canadian dollars minimum. I'll do it. Oh my god, man! We have to dunk a little bit on on these on these other brands. Like, my god, that's a lot of money, and they want more money for a uh, squally homage than the squally is asking for the real thing. This Can is you garbage. believe it? This is just pure garbage. I'm sorry. I mean, a thousand and one hundred and fifty dollars for it's this. Got movement, by the way. I mean, you gotta have serious mental deficiencies. Like, I'm sorry if you're buying this watch. Spencer paid five dollars. So let's check out movement. What what they have in stock? Just real. You know quick. they got those automatic watches now. I'm pretty sure. They did. Oh, really? Did they come out with an automatic line? I think it's so, right? A, it's been such a long time that I looked I almost at bought one of these watches when I was younger. I did buy one of these watches. I was ashamed. I didn't tell you guys. Yeah, but what like what happened was I had my uh I had my tag and I sent the tag in to repair it. I'll bring it on maybe on the next episode. Yeah, but okay, bring up Cooler Fiend's comment. Yes. Christopher Ward routinely you can get a new model for 30 percent discount i mean tim let me ask you something okay yeah when you have a brand that purportedly sells you know a good product mm. but that's always discounted 30 percent, do you think their products are really that good what does that say about no. their products that that's actually it's actually ridiculous because... markups ridiculous yeah. markups that's that's yeah. what it sends a message of right yeah. you're paying for a marked up product yeah and at the end of the day if you're paying for a hugely marked up product that they're willing to discount yeah. willy nilly at thirty percent, just goes to show you the quality of materials that they're putting into the watch. Oh yeah, I'm sorry guys, that's what it. <clears throat> when you actually analyze it from that perspective, it's awful. It's garbage. Don't get that garbage. Like the 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 problem with the discounts is that it really ruins the the resale value. It destroys the resale okay. value because what happens. There are people who buy, like people who know, they buy them at discount, right? And then when they have, when they sell it used, what happens is most people who sell it used, they're selling it even like another thirty percent below the thirty percent they already got the discount for. So, ooh, the discounts, I discounts is not a good thing unless it's like five to ten percent. Marco only pays 30% above retail. Ooh. Wow. Real clever, man. Real clever. At least I can Damn. afford 30% above retail. I don't know what to tell you, man. Hey, hey. You paid it. You're done. You don't have to. You can sleep like a baby. Probably. Marco probably has best sleeps that, uh, that any of us have, right? Like having all that anticipation off your back, right? Like how, how do you feel? How do you sleep at night, Marco? I sleep great. Not recently because I have a lot of schoolwork to do. But oh, okay, okay. Otherwise, I sleep pretty good. Mm, mm. Cool if you and Marco. You can say the same thing uh, of Breitling. Yes. Oh, yeah. And discontinuing has nothing to do with the materials. It's about demand. They have ETA. They, they have ETAs. And 
Okay, but here's the thing, okay? Let me explain to you guys something. It's the regulation. It's the regulation. Right. So there's different grade ETA movements, right? right? Just like, just like, there, like, how do I explain this? So let's pull this up. Hold on. Because there's an article that's going to explain it. Uh, different. Man, I remember when MVMT, you used to, you come onto the website and they had only five models. Now it looks like they got billion models. Just, woof. Just never ending line of watches. It's ridiculous. There's, can you imagine? There's probably a collector who only collects movement watches. Probably has like 20 of these pieces. Holy shite. Is, this is a look, look at this. A Gerald Genta. Right. Style it's straight up MVMT. Copy. All right. Wow. What a shiter. I got it pulled up whenever you're ready. My God. Wow. Incredible. Here we go. Okay. So these are the four. What what you get, right? What every manufacturer buys an ETA movement gets are what's called an eboche, which is just the parts, right? Yes. It's the parts or potentially you get the already assembled movement, which is then, which typically doesn't happen unless it's very low grade and you're not going to finish the watch, right? Because you don't want assembled parts. You're going to finish finish them yourselves so the highest grade you can get is chronometer grade that's like for example in my panerai right it's a chronometer grade eta movement so i got no problem with it being an eta movement because it's the highest level supremely accurate great workhorse movement and at the end of the day it operates within cost spe specifications right mm. so technically speaking the horology of it excellent mm. next is the top grade movement Adjusted to five position plus four seconds. It's not chronometer certified, but it's still very good. Then it's elaboré and then mm. standard. Okay. Mm. Brands like Christopher Ward are not using typically these bottom three. They're using standard because it's Ooh. cheaper. Oh, yeah. Maybe they're using this, but guys, you have to understand they're buying these things in scale. Okay. Huge scales. We're talking about they're paying maybe max a couple hundred bucks a movement mm -hmm. right yeah. so and then and then after that uh, producing cases that's not very hard a cnc machine does that right so really your your entire cost is the raw materials which again they're not using high grade steels because they're using the cheapest quality steels they can find right oh yeah so so you're paying what does it say about a watch it says that it's garbage when they discount at that price the difference with breitling is Okay, sure, Breitling was using ETA movements in the past, but they were using the highest grade, either top grade or chronometer grade movements. Then you go into the quality of the materials. So the cases, the cases were using a steel that's a lot more robust and corrosion resistant than yeah. a Christopher Ward. Yeah. Then you go to the straps or the bracelets. Everything is better, the build quality, the construction, the movements. This is the difference. Also, also besides... All of this technical stuff, Breitling has the name, and that Breitling name actually does make fe people feel kind of badass. It's Breitling. Right. It's a Breitling. You know, with I'm the Tudor, you don't get that feel because because it's that it's a discount Rolex. You know, it's like it's a Tudor, but Breitling. It's a Breitling. You know, you put on a Breitling, you feel fucking badass. Right, you're definitely paying for brand like brand prestige, 100%. Yeah. You're definitely paying a premium for brand prestige, but that's not to say that the quality of the materials, the regulation of their movement, the build oh, yeah. construction, everything is. I mean, you can't you can't even begin to compare them. Yeah, and you put it on a Christopher Ward, it's just a watch. There's no feeling at all. It's just it's a Christopher Ward. It's a watch. It's a watch. Oh. Oh, ooh, oh, okay. Check this out. I'm gonna send me uh, pull up the shit I sent you. Now check this out. This is interesting. This is actually very interesting. Uh, so this is actually this looks like an aqua racer, right? So it is an aqua racer, right? But it's got a helium escape valve. It looks, it's a caliber five, it's 500 meters. 
So it's like an like a it's like a sea dweller, aqua racer. What do you think about that? It's nice. I don't dislike it. Yeah, right. And like, I actually don't dislike it. Yeah, and I haven't seen. I actually haven't seen many of these, and this is the first time I'm actually picking up these. Uh, uh, that that it actually is like a like a more heavy duty aqua racer. And the tag, it's tag, it's tag Hoyer. It's got the brand name. It's uh, you know it it's probably what is that? It's caliber five, caliber five. What is that? That's uh probably some ETA. I'm not sure about this date, but. That's fine. I think it's just, it's just a great watch. It's a tag. I think it's got the brand name. Tag is a tag. Jubilee, Jubilee. Tag's a tag. Exactly. And this is not the worst you can go. Like, out of all the booby traps out there, this is probably a lucky, a lucky one. Let's just, let me just try to catch up. Cooler Fiend. The ETA levels are identical. I was about to answer in the chat. Parts, yeah, yeah, uh, parts, components. The only difference uh, between the levels is regulation right. and finishing. They are equally capable. No, they're so they're ve they're actually technically speaking very different. So those lower levels, they come into your factory already pre-assembled, right? That you just have to case them up. Yeah. Put the dial, snap Slap the hands, together. and then that's it. You're off to the races, right? Yeah. That's the difference. The regulation Brightling is. puts them together. Right, the regulation and the finishing is where the bulk of the cost is, guys. Right. Uh, cool if you, uh, Tim, Christopher Ward is not charging the same price as Breitling. The real center is Brumont. I won't disagree with you on Ex that. Yeah. We ain't disagreeing with you on oh, that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Brumont is the... No, I, I, think, I think we agree on the fact that Christopher Ward like for the money you you actually with christopher ward the thing is like you get what you pay for i think right like you get the movement it's eta it's not regulated you're not paying for regulation you get really good waterproof watch right there you don't get brand name you don't even get like a homage to anything which on the one side could be kind of cool kind of not most of them they don't even look like they're homages to something because when, uh, unless this one, oh, it's a homage to a squally. That's dirty, dirty. Like, but like, what? Like, is this homage to anything? Like this Trident Pro? I don't think so. Most of these look pretty, pretty kind of original-ish. Not a big fan of their designs, but a $2,000. Christopher Ward, $2,000? Man, like some of these Christopher Wards, I don't know what, what these guys are smoking. Like a thousand dollars, I can understand. Maybe get a 30%. Yeah, yeah. If with a 30% coupon, seven hundred dollars, yeah, yeah, yeah. Two thousand dollars, I'm sorry. That's a little bit too much. Okay, this looks cool-ish. Let's see. Yeah. Yeah, I I like this one. Check it out. Marco, what do you think? Make me I'm a sorry, mark. I was I was answering to one vicious guy in the chat. What oh, do you yeah? think of this? What is this? Christopher yeah. Ward? Christopher Ward. Toxic sludge. Don't buy this garbage. No, but it's pretty cheap. Look at this. Out of all Christopher Wards, nine hundred dollars, thirty percent off, six hundred bucks. Would you get this one or Presage? Presage, obviously. But it's a good alternative to a Presage. And my wife says it looks actually. Good. I actually respect Seiko. Like, I don't mind entry level Seikos because, technically speaking, Tim, yeah. they use in house movements. And oh, yeah, yeah. They're actually, uh, the build quality is, I mean, you're paying what you're, you're paying for what you're getting. And they're actually a lot more respectable than a brand like Christopher Ward. I guess mm. I'd recommend Seiko any day at this price because mm. you can actually mm. get good stuff like Presage. What is this going for? Uh, well, 600. Yeah, for 600 bucks. You could probably get like presage stuff pre-owned. Right. That's actually not bad quality. Not the best. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. No. It's not the best, but yeah. Uh, Jubilee Jubilee Aqua Racer is a good watch. Yeah, for the money, especially for the money. Like, it's probably 
the like because like it's like aqua racer and then you got tudor black bay but this is like aqua racer deep sea which they're not that common uh dom i like aqua racer nice line interesting uh presage has some beautiful dials oh yeah actually i was surprised by presage like in the pictures they look kind of funky like some 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 of them are off putting especially like with the sunburst but you look at them in the in like in the hand and they're like oh they actually look look nice oh nub gunner says it's a 43 mil so there you go so this is like an aqua racer deep sea actually cool. for the same price i'm pretty sure you can get tag or aqua racer pre-owned right not this for model, the christopher this... ward right not this model no 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 just the basic model right the basic model right yeah uh, so you can get either christopher ward like for example let's uh, let's see let's just do a quick comparison let's say uh oh this is a well look at this so so this is like their diver right look compressor super compressor Ooh, 150 meters of water resistance 500 feet that's actually pretty pretty hardcore okay well let's say do you get this for a thousand dollars let's see chrono 24 aqua racer There's different versions also, obviously. Let's do low to high. Oh, there's some really nasty ones in the back. Right. Did he filter by automatic movement, though? Uh, We're getting an automatic movement one, aren't we? I think Aqua Racer. Uh, no, they have quartz. They definitely have quartz. <laughs> I mean... Uh, the quartz are probably better than a Christopher like Ward, a, anyway. Yeah, exactly. Like even this one, look at this. Rubber. I know, but even this it's rubber, actually it's very new. Look at that. I probably should have got that instead automatic. of that stupid Hamilton that I bought. Right. Fuck. <laughs> I'm never gonna get rid of that piece of garbage. And let's be honest, the Tag Heuer bracelets, they're not that bad. But this one on the rubber, rubber or leather, they're they're both really good. And the, the price. Holy fuck, this is great watch. And that would like compare that to the Christopher Ward we okay, pulled up earlier. Get rid of that. That's the one, right? That's yeah. the same price. Yeah, same Okay, price. sure, it comes on a metal bracelet, but let's be honest. Christopher Ward, it ain't no Rolex bracelet, bracelets, that's for sure. They're it's shy. jingly they're not jangly even garbage. The, why do you think they're not showing the buckle in this uh in this photo? Uh, why 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 are they being so sus. Look who wears it, by the it's way. Sus. You know who's wearing that watch, Is that right? Barking Jack? Yeah, that's definitely him. Those are no, his, no, no. Those... He's not as buff. Look at those veins. No, no. I guarantee it to you. Those are. That's the way he takes watch photos all the time. No, but that's not his. That's not his hand. He's not as buff. He, he's he got some fat. I really believe it's him. I'm telling you. No. Guys, right in the chat, if it's him. I don't know if it is, but I have a feeling. I can actually. He doesn't have these freckles. Is he enough gunner said that's him? I'm telling you, it, it reminds me so much of it because he pull, pull always it takes watch pictures like that. Well, look, I'll show you. It's not him. Images. Look, you can see. Look, look how soft he is. No, no, wait, that's not him. Look, see? Ya? Look how soft he is. This guy. That's him. That's him. No, yeah, it's not. 100%. Look at the veins. Look. He's just soft. He's soft, man. It's not. He's not. Look. You can see it. No, it's not. It's not. Look. Look here. See it? His hand. Look. Hairy. Look. This has got like kind of yell yellowish hair. Black hair. Come on, no, man. No, it's definitely him. You're just messing with me. It's clearly not Dude, him. It's 100% him. You got to have rocks in your head, Tim. How do you not see it? Look at this. Dude, it's not him. Maybe he's just vascular in the picture. No, 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 no. This is 
No, it's not him. There's no way. And also, look, there's a background. Okay, then they definitely copied like his style of taking the pic. Well, maybe he copied the style. Who, who, what? You think he's the only one who takes pictures like this? I think he was the first one. He every watch picture you see from him is like that. No, no, no. He's he wasn't the first one to take a picture like that of a watch. Trust me, this is not his. Uh, like, uh, what's it called? Trademark. Maybe you're right because the hair is a bit too white. And the the hand, the arm hair, veins going through it. The guy is lifting. He's a bodybuilder. Almost eleven thirty. Oh shit! We have to wrap this baby up in a bow. Uh, Ronald, you guys are still going. Yeah, this I is just never, at never ending stream. Marathon. But to be fair, I didn't go on the AC three channel because I. Oh yeah. And G is Tim checking out Bark and Jack Chubs. <laughs> yes, we're, we're we're checking people's uh wait we were the weight watchers here. Tim, why do you think Roger Smith is very keen on Christopher Ward? I mean, it's pretty obvious, guys. He's a British watchmaker. He wants to support other British watchmakers. It's business or British watch brands. Yeah, it's pure business, man. Yeah, it's just like. We why why am I so concerned about Archie? Guys, Business. if other people around the world together. are gonna make shitters, right? Yeah. Why can't you buy? Why shouldn't you buy a shitter from England? It's pure exactly. pride. That's what it is. Mm -hmm. It's not because these things are good, guys. He makes handmade water. You think he's gonna wear a shitter like that on his wrist? You know what he wears? He wears Rolex. That's what he wears. Rolex, please. Casey Aquatics. Tim, it gets weird if you recognize men's veins on their hands. I'm just saying, I used to have veins. I used to like lift some stuff. Not, nothing's. It's just, I'm just saying, that guy, he's too soft to have those kind of veins. I've seen people in the gym. The people who have those kind of veins. You could do a couple, hands, you could do a couple push ups and you'll probably you know, get vascular arms like that. Tim, no, no. They, you have to, like, it's the whole thing. You know, what would you think? He did a couple push ups before doing the, the shot? Why not? No, no, no. You know, you know what that guy looks like. Uh, that guy in real life, that guy looks like uh, Birmingham. No, Birmingham is way more good looking, and he's fitter. no, no. The the vascular guy who has hands. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Gotcha. Mister Two, did you drop the link for Nub? Oh, jeez, uh, we're wrapping this up, guys. We're, we're wrapping. wrapping this up. Actually, I'm gonna drop the link if any of you guys wanna come on the off air. After, after, after party to just say, I'm going to stay for like another five minutes. Yes. Yeah, you guys want to say hello to your biggest fan, to, well, to your superstars. So, me and Marco, something in secret. I don't know. <laughs> Super duper stars. Fifth rate right. YouTube celebrities. Fifth guys. rate, fifth, sixth rate YouTube celebrities. Uh, I'm going to. Well, I'm 10th rate. Here. I'm not even monetized yet, Tim. Oh, you're right. I'm not even single digits. Damn, you're right. That, that, I'm nice once I become monetized, you know? Damn. All right. So. Oh, Jubilee, Jubilee. Tim implanting some left wing ideas. It's never going to happen, guys. Hey, Ronald. How's it going? Okay, so. Uh, going to wrap this baby up. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for super chatting. Thank you for becoming members and upgrading your memberships. Don't forget that, let me just do this thing. You can always become a member for $4 per month. It supports the show. It helps me out a lot to staying afloat, to keep doing these streams. So uh, check it out. Click the join button somewhere over there. Uh, if you're interested in that, and you can have access to all these boss emojis and i know i'm working on merch i'm working on merch we're gonna have all kinds of merch marco merch ronald merch joe kramer merch <laughs> it's gonna be a lot of fun stay tuned guys and if you want to talk to ronald he's got like four hours to spare ronald how, how long are you gonna stay on the after show like four or five hours we can't hear you he has no, no audio but Guys, if you want to talk to Ronald, he's got whole night. You can just stay here in the background and chill. I'm going to wrap this up. Thank you. Oh, 
let me just say goodbye to the chat thank you for working edge sharpening kryptonite frog nice to see you dom jubilee jubilee mike pat jc have a wonderful night kc aquatics mr two and cooler fian cooler fian i really like the back and forth on the christopher ward that was really fun calvin chang thank you for the super chats and thank you everyone else who was watching the show let me add casey and good night